Hey, y'all, looking for wholesome, convenient meals for this jam-packed fall season? Get Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit. And get eating well off your to-do list in just two minutes. Get 50% off Factor with the code KILLTONY50 at factormeals.com slash KILLTONY50. That's code KILLTONY50 at factormeals.com slash KILLTONY50 to get 50% off. Hey everybody, Kill Tony live from the HEB Center in Austin, Texas. Saturday, December 30th at 7 p.m. Just went on sale and you have to trust me, tickets are going lightning fast. It's absolutely unbelievable. These will be the first podcasts of Kill Tony ever in an arena. This is two and a half, three times as big as the ACL Live Theater that we did for the 10-year anniversary We've become an arena act, so check it out. It's going to be crazy. A lot of surprises, a lot of fun, unbelievable guests. It's a big production. This is our version of WrestleMania. Go to Ticketmaster.com. Look up Kill Tony. It's the one with tickets available. We're going back-to-back nights, the 30th and the 31st. HEB Center, live. live from the Comedy Mothership here in Austin, Texas for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony Hitchcliffe! You guys ready for the best fucking night of your lives tonight or what? Fuck yeah. How about a hand for Red Band, everybody? We've been doing this a long time now. We're going to have a lot of fucking fun tonight. A lot of fun stuff. This is Kill Tony, the number one live podcast in the world. Brought to you by Gel Blaster, the Red Rose, Yellow Rose, Hull Law Firm. Uh, Connect Mobile Health, where you use the promo code KILL10. Save 10% on an IV drip. You might need it tomorrow. Austin Pools, get a custom-made pool. Fastest pool maker in Austin. CM Smokehouse, Zipix Toothpicks, the great Bones Eye who makes all the joke books and is right now stuffing my first black buck that I hunted during our vacation. You hunted? Yeah, I hunted. Wow. Killed someone out on Kinsel Ranch. Uh, NinjaBuses.com, the best uh, fucking uh, buses, tour buses. Party buses. Yeah, party buses, yeah. tour buses. It's what's taken us to the arenas, sold out arenas, December 30th and 31st. Some tickets still available for the 30th. New Year's Eve is sold out first ever podcast in America to sell out an arena, but who's counting? You know what I mean? Yep. And how about one more time for the best damn band in the land, the Kill Tony Band. That is indeed the great and powerful Michael Gonzalez on the drums, Matt Muling on the electric, Sean Bees on the keys, Paul Deemer on the horns, and the great D Madness on bass. And the great and powerful Terrell Shaheed joining the band tonight. We love it. Monster. We love it when he's joining us. A lot of these, uh, all of these guys are the best musicians in Austin, Texas. You can see them, follow them on social media, and catch them all throughout the week. Before we start tonight's show, here's a little bit more from the amazing sponsors that made tonight's episode available for you here right now. Hey, y'all, if you want to upgrade your home the easy way, you need to check out Display. Display creates awesome metal posters that take just 20 seconds to install and will not damage your walls. They look awesome, they won't break the bank, and they come in tons of cool designs. Now, here's what's crazy, is that this ad read just came on our table, and I literally, uh, in my new place, just filled it with art from Display. So I am so excited to be reading this ad 
because truly, I have Tarantino stuff, some Pulp Fiction stuff, Kill Bill, uh, some really unbelievable art. And I looked for a long time, a lot of different art places, and Displate has the coolest stuff. And crazy enough, they are the only things, uh, the only art in my place that I hung up myself. I read the instructions, I saw how easy it was, and I couldn't wait to see what they looked like on my walls. I literally did it myself. Me, a helpless beta boy, was able to figure it out. Uh, Red Band? I love it. And they have awesome designs from companies and brands like Star Wars, Marvel, League of Legends. You truly can't go wrong. And it's so much better than a regular poster. It lasts forever. Not only will displays look cool in your home, they also make great gifts. You can even submit your own artwork to be turned into a display for something totally personalized. Your poster comes with everything you'll need to hang it immediately. Just pop Pop the included magnet on your wall, stick your display to it, and you're all set. And I got the uh, I got the magic uh, space separator thing, so it's a couple inches off the wall. Oh, so it floats. It, again, floating artwork. It was so easy to do that I did it myself. Not my right-hand man, Yoni. Not my handyman, Jack. It was me all the way, which should tell you how easy and cool it is. Thank you to Display for sponsoring the show. Love having sponsors that we actually love and use. Use the code Tony or click the link in our description to get yourself and your friends displays up to 30% off. I'm telling you, this stuff is awesome. Check out their website. This is our special discount that's only available for a limited time. Your discount will be automatically applied to your cart. That is Displate. Go to displate.com and use the code TONY to get displates for up to 30% off now. Hey, y'all, when you get down, it can affect your entire life. Talking with a therapist can help you to become your best self. And finding a therapist has never been easier with Talkspace. We have a lot of friends in comedy that have used this. It has been very effective for them because it's easy. They sign up online at talkspace.com and get a personalized match with a provider, typically within 48 hours hours red band have virtual sessions with your licensed therapist from the comfort of your home you can even send messages to your therapist so you don't have to wait for your next session talkspace is the number one online therapy platform with licensed therapists and over 40 specialties including anxiety depression substance abuse and more talkspace is secure and private using the latest end-to-end -end bank grade encryption technology to store client information and complying with the latest hipaa regulations talkspace is affordable and in network with most major insurers. Kill Tony listeners get $80 off your first month with Talkspace when you go to Talkspace.com slash Tony. To match with a licensed therapist today, go to Talkspace.com slash Tony to get $80 off your first month and support the show. That's Talkspace.com slash Tony. Hey, y'all. It's starting to get chilly outside. Have you ever wished that you could have a little jacket for your junk? You're in luck. Sheath Underwear has two pouches, one for what you pack and one for that little sack. If you keep things separated, you can get on with your life without having everything mashed together down there. I only wear sheath underwear. I brought it up to my buddy last night who said he, he hates his underwear. I said, I gotta get you some sheaths, it's the best. And then he said, how do I get sheaths? I said, you go to sheathunderwear.com, no doubt about it, and use the code Tony to get 20% off your first order. He said, Tony, we're best friends. I go, go fuck yourself, go get sheath, red band. Sheath underwear is so comfortable and breathable, you're never gonna to wanna to wear anything else. If you don't have a little Tony, she still has something for you. Check out their sports bralettes, broxer briefs, and boy shorts for the ultimate in comfort and style. You know I can be a real you-know-what, so put me in a package in the front of your underwear. Go to sheathunderwear.com and use code TONY to get 20% off your first order. Plus, Sheath's underwear, 100% money-back guarantee. That's sheathunderwear.com, promo code TONY. Get Sheath underwear, support the show, support your balls. Go to Sheath underwear. Use the code TONY, 20% off right now. Hey, y'all. I have to tell you about the super blend I'm loving called Kachava. It's hands down the best thing I've found to feed my body the nutrients it craves. Kachava is an all-in-one plant-based super blend made up of superfoods, greens, plant proteins, antioxidants, adaptogens, probiotics. In other words, everything your body craves to feel your best. And I know what you're thinking. Something this good for me can't possibly taste delicious. That's where Kachava really earns their thousands of five-star reviews. It tastes amazing. It's creamy, smooth, and comes in five Five delicious flavors. I'll tell you right now, the vanilla and the coconut acai are my favorite, but it also comes in chocolate, chai, and matcha. 
Red Band. Some folks like to drink it as part of their healthy breakfast or lunch, and others love it as a protein-packed snack before or after a workout. It's perfect for this because it has 25 grams of plant protein per serving. Personally, I like to drink kachiva just laying around on the couch. <laughs> It actually, it feels great because I, I don't like eating too much, so it's great to just have a nice meal real quick that's delicious and gives me all the protein and nutrients I need. No doubt about it. And Kachava is offering our listeners 10% off for a limited time. Just go to kachava.com slash Tony, spelled K-A-C-H-A-V-A, and get 10% off your first order. That's K-A-C-H-A-V-A dot com slash Tony. Tony. Are you guys ready to start tonight's fucking episode or what? Austin, you gotta do better than that. Are you guys ready to start the show? Three guests tonight. Three of the best in the world. Three of my favorites. Make some fucking noise for Giannis Pappas, Ryan Sickler, and Mike Feeney, everybody. Oh yeah. Back to our roots. Three comedians. Two New Yorkers. And LA's finest, Ryan Sickler, Mike Feeney, Giannis Pappas. Fuck yes. Giannis Pappas of the Giannis Pappas Hour, doing Portland January 11th and Vancouver January 12th. And, of course, Toronto, March 23rd. Giannis, welcome back. Good to be back. What's up, Austin? How you guys doing? Yeah. Giannis just had a wildly successful weekend here at the Comedy Mothership. And uh, this is Mike Feeney's first time at the club. How about a hand for Mike Feeney, everybody? Beautiful. Beautiful. Me, if I didn't smoke two packs of cigarettes a day. (laughs) Good looking boy. How are you, Mike? I'm great, man. This is exciting. Happy to be back doing the show again. I love it. I love it. Welcome back. And uh, first time at the Mothership. First time for Ryan, too, right? No. Oh, you've been here. I've been here. That's right, you had a fucking bad back last time. This is the first place I performed after I almost died in January, yeah. That's right. It was. He's alive and well. Alive and motherfucking well, y'all. Mike Feeney's special. Here for Kill Tony in Austin, Texas at the Mothership. (laughs) Mike Feeney's special comes out Friday. It's available now. If you're watching now, it's at youtube.com slash Mike Feeney. Ryan Sickler's special is on YouTube, uh, YouTube slash Ryan Sickler, Lefty Son. He also, of course, has the hit podcast, Honeydew, which I've had a few of my favorite ever appearances on. I really, thanks to my father, (laughs) the one gift he gave me were unbelievably ridiculous stories to tell on your podcast. Uh, Thank you for abandoning me, Dad. I don't know why I looked up there. He's still alive. Um, (laughs) That's just sad. Um... And yes, uh, like I said, Mike Feeney's uh, huge new special comes out this Friday, A Night at the Comedy Cellar, where he shot uh, in all four rooms, self-produced, self-directed, self-edited. We're going to have a lot of fun tonight. You guys have all done this show before. You know how it works. Uh, An absolute buttload of people signed up for the chance to do 60 (laughs) seconds on this stage. We're only going to get through fucking hopefully, uh, hopefully as many as we can. But they get 60 seconds of uninterrupted uh, stand-up comedy time. You know their time is up and you hear the sound of a kitten. That means they have to wrap it up then or else they bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. And then I interview them and we find out more about them, more stuff that they could possibly talk about since it's a little bit of a walk from the bar next door. We are going to pre-select our first bucket pull so that they could get ready and behind the curtain. But first... I think we should start the show with, uh, really, I think the guy that's uh, the greatest show starter in the history of the show. You guys know anything about the show that you're at? Well, you might know the words. You guys know the words to this guy's intro song? All right, sing it if you know it. Make some noise for Hans Kim, everybody! Thank you, guys. So there was an eclipse recently. I love eclipses, because I don't even have to wear the glasses. (laughs) My eyes are always in eclipse mode. (laughs) I just have to side-eye it. Israel is fighting Palestine again. Winner has to fight Russia. 
Loser has to marry Jada Pinkett Smith. <laughs> and be backup dancers for Lizzo. <laughs> Suck that banana, Palestine. <laughs> All right, thank you. There you go, 50 seconds of the new material from Hans Kim getting out 10 seconds early after a two week break. <laughs> Sorry about that, Tony. I am saving up for the HEB show. It's going to be a great one. Tune in. Yes. For those of you that don't know, it is indeed happening. The first ever true uh, main event comedy battle in the history of Kill Tony for an already sold out show. It will be Hans Kim versus Golden Ticket winner Rick Diaz. And they have decided, they've put it all up on the line. One will be a full time regular of the show, the other, will not be appear. a snake in Europe. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. I absolutely love this. You guys have an internet beef and everything. You guys are promoting this fight better than like Dylan Dennis and uh, Logan Paul did. <laughs> it's incredible. Update the people if they don't know what's been happening on the internet between you two. So on the internet, uh, Rick Diaz has been a little bitch and he is about you know, one-tenth of the followers that I have, and I blocked him, so I don't know what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> I have been killing it. I have McVader on my side making me posters. I got random people just giving me posters of Rick Diaz, like, getting fucked in the ass and shit. <laughs> I've been wildly successful. I've been making money off of YouTube off that clip. And... <laughs> wildly successful <laughs> and you are you're selling out everywhere you go adding shows to these comedy club dates incredible to think that only what three years ago sleeping in the van yeah not doing anything with my life being a real Rick Diaz <laughs> now this is a huge advantage that you have over him while he's in Brussels doing his day job you get to come here every Monday and just talk shit yeah. Oops, you fucked up, bitch. <laughs> Hans, oh my goodness. Repping the fucking KT friends and family 10-year anniversary jacket. You busted it out a little bit early <laughs> a little on a 78-degree day. <laughs> I love it. Well, like you, it was also made in China. So, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He's Korean, everybody. He's Korean. Have you talked to your parents lately? No, I sent them $1,000 to my mom, and uh, you know, that keeps her happy, so. Wait, you're supporting your parent? Don't they live in Seattle? Yeah, in San Francisco, same thing. <laughs> yeah. Why are you sending your mom money? Just to be like, thanks for raising me. Here's like a little, little loan repayment, you know. I'm, I'm repaying her back for raising me. That's nice. That is nice. Yeah. But you should stop that. <laughs> How old are you? 34. Yeah, 34 is a little bit too late to be given a thousand bucks here and there. Well, three years ago, I was in a van. I didn't really give her anything. Was she giving you money? Was she supporting you? Yeah, she let me live in her house for five years. She left for Korea. I was in the, alone in this beautiful condo for three years, just doing open mics. And uh, that really helped my comedy career. So I just want to repay the investment she made in my stock. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. You... A thousand bucks covers that, I'd yeah. say, huh? <laughs> three living for three years in a condo. Crazy. Here's a thousand bucks. We're even. Send another thousand bucks to San Francisco. They need it right now. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they really do. What's their situation? Are they rich? Your parents rich? Yeah, my sisters live together. Uh, my mom lives with them. You know, she lives in Oakland, California. She recently had a bag stolen from her at a Costco. And could, the... we, could I just, do yeah. you mind? Yeah. Because I thought you said, are you rich? And then I heard him say, yeah. Then I heard him say, my sisters live together. <laughs> and I don't know any rich motherfucking sisters that live together. You know what I'm saying? You said their, their mom lives with them too? Yeah. That ain't rich. That <laughs> sounds like, you know, communal. Yeah, well, they got to send a you know, portion like back to North Korea. Pitch in, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> So your sisters live together. What's your dad like? My dad is uh, like kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? He's a Korean Santa Claus. Hi hi hi! Oh, 
What does that mean, how you just described your dad? I, he's like lovable. He's sort of like a sitcom dad. He's like, oh, dad, always, you know, doing things that are socially awkward. Like what? Can you give us an example? Um, no. <laughs> I think uh, raising yes. him was yeah. how... <laughs> If, have you thought about sending your dad a thousand bucks? No. Why is that? My dad, my dad is rich. My dad is doing great. He, he, What's you know, he an engineer. He is a mathematician. He's oh god. <laughs> oh, on the nose. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those guys are always the life of the party. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's always like farting like a bubbly farts. Wait a second. <laughs> what does that mean? Bubbly farts, like wet farts? Yeah, very wet farts. Okay. Red band. Jesus Christ. We have a. I mean, we have a. Literally, we're three minutes into the episode and you're busting out your fart board already. Okay. My dad is great. Um, my uh, mom and him are sort of separated. He lives in Korea alone. Your dad lives in Korea alone? Yeah. What do you think he's doing over there exactly? I hope having lots of sex. Uh, right. I don't know what he's doing. He has a three-bedroom apartment to himself. <laughs> <laughs> he really... Everybody else lives together. Your dad's like, fuck yeah. all of you. <laughs> I got plenty of room and nobody's welcome here. <laughs> he really is Korean Santa Claus. He is rich. He's got he's ho, rich. ho, hoes. He's a rich asshole. <laughs> I fucking love it. A rich oh, mathematician rich. Right. in Korea. There's a room for everybody in Korea. And nobody's allowed to go. <laughs> oh, it's so good, dude. It's amazing. Does your mom have a job? Yeah, she tutors children in math. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is the most unbelievable stereotype that I've ever heard. Mathematician and your mom really tutors math. For yeah. Real. If you tell me she can't drive, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. <laughs> she can drive. She can? Yeah. Really? How about your sisters? They, they can drive, but they, uh, they, I don't know what they're up to, actually. Yeah, we just got, <laughs> we just got a live feed from their uh, driveway. That's just the driveway, so imagine what's going on when they pull all the way out. Speaking of pulling all the way out, um, your dad, does he have any other kids with any other women? No, it's just us, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. No one would know if he did, like, right? Yeah. Maybe he sends them away and uses those rooms. Um, but no, he's, he seems like he's pretty content. He's got that surgery on his eyes to make them bigger. No way. Yeah. Did he for Are, real? What? Yeah, he the... said it was for medical reasons. What medical reasons? Because his eyes were too small. <laughs> <laughs> so he literally got the the like the the eye opening. They have an eye opening. Like, what do they do? Like, trim away your eyelids or something? Your yeah. eyes really are closed. I mean, it is kind of crazy. I know we've been working together for years, and this is a <laughs> weird time for me to bring it up. But like holy right shit! Yeah, this is this is me. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> My goodness. Have you ever thought about getting the surgery? Yes, I would love to get the surgery. How much does it cost? I don't know. It's not that much. You $10, don't know? $10,000. Can you look up uh, the anti-Asian surgery or whatever it's called? <laughs> <laughs> the fucking... Not the Co dick lengthening Korean one. Korean eyelid surgery? Price? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. What my getting... girlfriend wants it, too. Oh, my God. It really is. $3,100. <laughs> yeah. That ain't bad. Oh, I could get that. Oh, that in is... Korea, in Korea, it's only $1,500. <laughs> you could visit Dad, have an yeah. eye-opening experience. <laughs> this is incredible. You could... <laughs> <laughs> He's got room for you. He's got two rooms for you. Amazing, Hans. Well, so much fun. Way to start the episode. You did it again. You're so Killed much fun. Living legend. The great, the powerful Hans Kim. He makes it look easy. I know. I know. It's wild. That was Hans Kim. That was Hans Kim. That
that was on Tim. All right, your first bucket full of the night, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you don't know, this is where stuff, you know, maybe this is your first time at the show. Maybe you have orange hair and glasses, you know. Uh, this is the part where things can get a little weird because we don't know these people. We meet them all together, they get a minute, and then we try to figure out what the fuck is going on with their lives. So make some noise for your first bucket pull of the night. Michael Hines, everybody. Michael Hines. And I pre-pull the next bucket. How's it going, everyone? Woo, yeah. I like to keep my cock a little stanky, you know? Mostly because the girls I'm fucking don't wash their fucking box, so I'm trying to return the favor. If I'm hitting it from the back and I'm catching a little backdraft, man, you know, I want her to smell it from the front. Clean it off for me. Come here. Reach underneath. Have a treat. Disgusting. No, but um, I do like dating handicapped girls. I like dating handicapped women. Mostly because parking near 6th Street is a bitch. <laughs> but I am partial to the autistic women because they're not typically talkers. <laughs> but I will peruse the terminal ward for the occasional babe, you know. You don't get that awkward phone call like, how come you didn't call me back? It just sort of takes care of itself. But you do have to keep a toilet plunger in the back seat because those girls don't have any hair and those broads are rail thin, so there's nothing to grab. You gotta be able to. <laughs> Thank you, that's been my time. <laughs> Holy shit. Where do we begin? <laughs> oh my god. Michael Hines, welcome. This is your first time on the show, correct? Yes, sir. I would remember you. I saw you last Wednesday, right after I got kicked out of the Creek in the Cave. The Creek in the Cave? Yeah. What kind of speech impediment do you have? Is that from eating stinky pussy? What is that exactly? All the pussy I got I've kicked had out of the Creek in the Cave. Oh my goodness. You have a little bit of a speech impediment, huh? You know, mostly when I'm nervous. You sound like what Hans Kim's eyes look like. <laughs> it's like something blocking your fucking something. So holy shit. All right, Michael, let's just jump right into a dirty dick to return the favor for the dirty pussies that you get so much of somehow, obviously. How much pussy are you getting? When I first got to Austin, I fucked like five girls in a row, but one of them had a pregnancy scare and I'm like, I'm not fucking any more girls that I'd be embarrassed to bring home. So that was it. It's been, it's been dry for a I've, while. I've yeah. never been convinced someone's had sex less than you. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> It's the lack of sideburns is what's making me feel like. <laughs> no sideburns, no pussy. That's kind of the rule. It is interesting. It is interesting. There's a lot at the top, nothing on the sides. It is. I got a haircut yesterday. It was down to here up until like yesterday. Okay. And you're like, clean it up, but not really. <laughs> leave something weird at the top. Well, I had a comic cut it, so. You what? I had a comic cut it. Oh, okay. That's brilliant. <laughs> Giannis? That's his credit. He had a comic cut his hair. <laughs> <laughs> you look like Dexter. It's good. When my hair was longer, I used to get a Jeffrey Dahmer a lot, so I had to change the glasses out. I had the same ones. Ah, yeah. oh, okay. Well, I don't uh, think you'd be confused with a killer. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and according to you, you've dealt with more stinky <laughs> body parts than him. Let's talk about this again. Five girls in a row, Michael Hines. I find that just absolutely impossible to believe. <laughs> so let's, let's talk about it for a second. Where did you find these five girls? How did that happen? When I moved to Austin, I had sex with five girls in a row, you said. Whoa. So let's, let's just jump right into it. I want to know where you're finding these fucking absolute... You know, uh, you know, chicks with no fucking standards. Thank you. Yes, Matt Mueling. Thank you. It's been a, we took a couple weeks off. I'm a little bit slow right now. A little dusty. Go ahead. Well, what? I met them all on Tinder, and you know, they were. I'm a veteran, and so I wanted a girl to take. You're a veteran. <laughs> Really? Yeah, well, I needed someone to take with me to IHOP and Applebee's to get all the free meals for Veterans Day. So I had to hop on to Tinder. And, you know, she was a dog, but you got to take what you can get. You know, beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> Hold on. 
Hold on. D Madness is telling him to stop. So, uh, if you're a veteran, you get a free meal at IHOP and Applebee's? On Veterans Day, yeah. On Veterans Day. Not so, Memorial Day. We're the ones that fucking dodge that shit, dude. They don't honor us on Memorial Day. <laughs> okay, what branch of the military were The Marine you? Corps. You were in the Marines? What the fuck? <laughs> What exactly did you do? I was an uh, air crew. You were what? Air crew. Air crew. So what I worked is... on the helicopters. Yeah. I was supposed to be a door gunner, but I was in California the whole time, so I never really did anything all that cool. You worked on helicopters. Yeah. Oh, my God. They make it pretty idiot-proof. They have, like, computers. It's like Lego pieces. You see the screw go in, and it's, like, two-sentence summaries of what you have to do. Then they make it pretty easy. how you get easy. on? <laughs> How'd they let you in then? I don't know, man. Someone you served was our country with that Karen haircut, for real? Yeah. It was a little shorter then. I you, was, know, you know I, who he looks like, though, is the... Um, I can't say... You, you might know his name. You look like the little elf from the Rudolph movie I watched with my dog. Oh, my God. The one God. that wants to be the dentist. Oh, my God, he does. The one that wants to be the dentist. That's who you look like. It's been yeah. 100%. 100%. Who the fuck 100. I got a fucking bobblehead of you at home yeah. for Christmas I put out for my daughter. It's solar and it just goes like this and it's you, the one that wants to be the dentist. No Unbelievable. shit. Unbelievable. It is true. You do look like a pitcher for every women's softball team. <laughs> This is unbelievable. Michael, uh, so how long have you been doing stand-up? Like uh, seven months now. What do you do for a living? I'm on uh, unemployment right now, rocking the system, baby. Oh, we, the taxpayers love to hear that. Hey, uh, guys. Yeah, yeah. So let's go back to this one more time. Five girls in a row. But meanwhile, one the day, the day that you get Applebee's and IHOP, that's only one day. So you're saying that you went on Tindo <laughs> to, um, to take these girls out for your free meals, but that's only one day. Did you yeah. go to like IHOP for lunch and Applebee's for dinner? Well, you know, I was, most of them I didn't really want to take out. The first girl kind of looked like the Bucky's mascot. Dude, the second you one, look like the Bucky's mascot. What are you talking about? The second one was like, she was like trailer trash. She was missing, like, like not all the way, but meth has eaten away a good percentage of the And we know teeth. you've always wanted to be a dentist, exactly. so. Uh, what you're, saying. you're perfect for there her. There was one really good looking one. Like, I don't know what she was thinking, or maybe my pictures are a she little She thought deceiving. you were a hot lesbian. But she, she was like a Brazilian girl, and she was like a foot taller than me. Yeah. I only brought her to my house. We had a good time. I brought her home, and then she was like, "Listen, you're really cool, but we're done." And I was so. Like, what happened when you took her to your house? Well, this hot Brazilian chick. Right now, my bed's on the floor, but at the time, I was renting a place with a really high bed frame, mm -hmm. so it like worked out because I could actually bend her over that. I couldn't quite get up there. That doesn't but make I could sense. Hit it. No, like she. Was, that would be the opposite. It worked out. <laughs> she liked how tall it was. She was able to kind of show off. She was like an Amazonian queen, dude. It was pretty cool. <laughs> why, why do you think she had sex with you? I don't know. I guess because Tinder didn't add the height part yet, but now it's pretty much over, dude. Uh, I put 5'9", and I'm kind of lying. Oh, yeah, you're definitely lying. 5'8 yeah, and a half, maybe. I don't know. 5'7". Five, 5'7", seven. Five, seven. yeah. Well, you're I'm getting closer. To, I'm sticking with 5'8", and okay. I'm going to take All it to right. the grave. Shut up, Michael. Sorry. Um, what do you do for fun? Tell us something about interesting about your life, the history of your life, real quick before we let I you go. I used to be a jiu-jitsu instructor for like six years. Uh-huh. And uh, kickboxing. I don't really do it so much in Austin because I don't have a lot of money anymore. But it was, I used to do it for fun. Now I just kind of take my dog out for walks and do comedy. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, my God. There isn't a single thing that you've said that matches your face and body and personality and voice and hair. Yeah. But almost everything you've said matches those shorts. Yeah. <laughs> My mom got them for me. We had to take a family photo and I didn't have any nice khakis. Oh my God. Well, Michael, congratulations. Uh, you know, um, I believe them. <laughs> We have people of all different shapes and sizes on this show, and uh, congratulations, you got pulled out of the bucket first. Michael, here's a little joke book for you. There he goes, Michael Hines, everybody. He's leaving here with a gel blaster. The great people over at Gel Blaster. 
Your next bucket pool. This looks like another new name. Let's see what happens here. Make some noise for Halima Abshir, everybody. Halima Abshir. We're gonna meet them straight out. Here's Halima, everybody. Uh, my name is Halim. I look like a transitioning boy all the time. I have resting uh, political discussion face. I look like a walking Twitter argument. Like most people just assume that I voted for Biden. I've never voted, ever. You know what I did in the last primary? I just watched Steve Harvey. Yeah, I just laid on my couch going, what yo ass say? Yo ass is going to hell. I love Steve. I think he should be our next president, Vice President Herschel Walker. Uh, you're not with me? President Trump, Vice President Herschel Walker. That's, that's the America that I want to see. Secretary of State, Kanye. All right, has that been a minute? 52 oh, seconds. Go. Okay, right, I guess I guess she is done. Halima yeah. Abshir, everybody. Oh yeah. yeah. Welcome. Hey. Very funny. Uh, resting political face, hilarious. How long have you been doing stand-up? Four and a half years. Four and a half years. Where at? Uh, Columbus. Columbus, Ohio. Yeah. Beautiful. That is the hometown of. Brian Redman, that is indeed where we all went to college. Yeah. Uh, you were born and raised there? Yeah. Ethiopian? Somali. Oh, Somali, yeah. okay. Yeah. Very cool, yeah, you guys. I was are... on the show back in 2019. In Columbus? Yeah. Okay, cool. And it was yeah. like, you were really young. It was like your first or yeah. second time or something? Uh, it was, oh. I was like eight months in. I was like oh. 20. Yeah. Awesome. I do remember you. Yeah. Awesome. Red Band always remembers the young ladies, no matter what. <laughs> Oh, yeah, real... Dude. Dude, I was heavy back then, too. I was like 220. Wow, how'd yeah. you lose the weight? Yeah, just calories and calories out. There you so, go. That's uh, how you do it, Red Band. There you go. Uh, there you go. You learn Yo, dude, learn I ate two chocolate new. croissants yesterday. I don't you give what? a fuck. I ate, I ate two chocolate croissants yesterday. Oh, shit. It's all about math, baby. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Have you ever had uh, any other kind of croissants? Or do you stick with your own kind? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a barista. I was fired yesterday. Whoa, um, very cool. Yeah, I was overqualified for the job. Yes. I worked in like specialty coffee for like four years because of stand up and then got fired yesterday. Okay. And that's why you took the croissants. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> I was very glad I did when I got the call. I was like, man, I really deserve this one. Yeah. When they fired you, were you like, Sama leave? <laughs> Somali. That's a, a good pun. Sama leave. That's a good Sama. pun. Nah, all right. It kind of worked. I, I liked it. Thank you. And you're Somali, so that your, your vote is the one that counts. Um, so what did you do to get fired exactly? Uh, giving discounts to regulars. Ooh. Yeah, which is a part of the purpose of the building. It's uh, yeah. one of those Berkshire Hathaway type things. Okay. They're just like, Wait. oh, they paid us to like open up a coffee shop here, and everyone that lives here gets 15% off. Ah. I was going to ask you, what, what were you giving them 15% or were you yeah. giving them like 65 Oh, I was giving them 15 oh. And they fired you for that? Yeah. Oh, well, fuck them then. Yeah, that's okay. That's a latte to take in. <laughs> Other good pun. Let's go, dude. Puns for the win. Puns for the win. The 10 year, 10 and a half year anniversary of that joke being made on this show, everybody. Brian Redband bringing it back. Oh my God. So uh, they fired you for something that is a normal thing that you're supposed to do. When, did you say that to your manager when they tried to fire you? It was just a phone. I knew when I got the phone call, I was going to be fired for something. I don't know why. I just expect bad shit to happen all the time. That is so weird because normally yeah. someone like you is the person that doesn't get fired even if they did their job. Uh, I, I know. Okay. I was nowadays, stealing nowadays, hoodies from them. Nowadays, they, they need people like you. They must have some trans person they have to hire at the coffee yeah, shop because they're like next in the... Here's gotta the problem. I make, I make latte art every single time. Every time. I'm a, I'm a killer at it. All the non-binaries... 
over steam. It's ugly. It's foam. Right. Bitch, that's a cappuccino. That's a gigantic cappuccino, you fat fuck. I... Right. Right. Absolutely. So I, I need a nine to five or something. Yeah. What are you going to do? What's your, mm. what's your uh, method of survival? You live here now? Yeah. And uh, how much? I'm good for like November. Good till November. All right. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite uh, Wyclef Sean songs. <laughs> you could always hijack ships. <laughs> oh, man. That is true. That's, a that's out there. Go back yeah. To it. yeah. Go it to is. Somalia, you know, bomb a little bit. Make a little cash, come back. I, uh, make them coffee. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Go down there and make them coffee. Yeah. I am the cappuccino now. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your, uh, what are your skills? What could we possibly hire you for? Um, if there's a lot of, you know, uh, the economy here in Austin's booming. How long have you lived here? Uh, like two months. Okay. Uh, I d I'm a people person. I could small talk. People person. I bake bread. I could cook well. Okay. Like, I'll cook the shit out of vegetables. I, I mean, any which way. <laughs> Beurre blanc. I, all, type, all types of sauces. Dark, r light roux, whatever you want. Why'd you say the dark one first? Because I don't... It's a real theme here with you. Chocolate croissants. It's Austin. I'm black trying. Coffee. I don't see a lot of black people anymore, so I have to think of black people to feel like I'm black. Now still. you know how D Madness feels. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, D. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. No what else? Other than cooking, give us another skill um, or talent. I'm trying to figure out. I mean, out I was I was getting like five hundred dollars a month from stand up before I moved here. That was a skill. How were skill. you doing that? Gigs, just you know, in Columbus? like Thursday. Uh, no, all over Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana. Okay. You know, driving. Yeah, that's probably not going to happen. Yeah, here. it's not. Uh, I don't. Know. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anybody hiring out there? Any business owners hiring? Clap your hands. Come on, who needs are. vegetables cooked? I've God done damn sales. It. I've done sales. Who needs sales. the shit cooked out of their vegetables? Somebody out there needs it. Uh, I've tutored math. Not right now. Oh, uh, switching gears. All right, Hans's mom. We see what's going on over here. I did go to Kumon for like 10 years. You went yeah. to what? Kumon. What's that? It's like some math learning place. It's just extra homework. Okay. That's just what it is. It's a lot of Asian people gathering to make their kids do more homework. That's wow. Yeah, some people know what it is. Damn, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah, they didn't have that in Youngstown. Right. They, yeah, definitely you, not. You are correct. Yeah. Yeah, quite the opposite. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, I guess we're not going to find you a job. One more time. Any business owners out there? Clap your hands. Wow. No one. Uh, <laughs> No one looking for a Somali barista yeah. that gives away discounts uh, to people that should get them. Yeah. This is real. That's a real glimpse of Texas, everybody. For those of you watching on yeah. the internet, there are guaranteed so many business owners here right now. What do you do for a living, sir? Uh, I'm an accountant. You're, you just lied. Did you hear that, Pod? I. No, you uh, I don't have any employees. Yeah. Just started with the you first the alphabetical firm. fake Probably job you could come up with. I am an aardvark. I mean an accountant. Um, uh. <laughs> Holy shit. That's what I love about Texas. You don't get extra points for affirmative action. Just that like, is fuck true. That shit. We don't need you guys. That is, that is, that is true. Love it. I'm looking at our sponsors here. Uh, you can't work for Connect Mobile Health because they're nurses. You can't work for Austin Pools because you can't swim. I can swim. <laughs> Tony, what does that mean? <laughs> it means no worries. Okay, now that's racist, Red Band. That is wrong. Well, Halima, sign up for the show again. You're uh, very, very funny. You're leaving here with a big joke book, cool as fuck, with an alien on it, mothership theme, the bones, the eye of the great bones eye. Halima, it's coming at you. Halima, all right, I'll hand it to you. There you go. Hell yeah, great stuff, Halima. How about one more time for Halima Abshir, everybody? That's what it's all about.
Okay. Now this is very exciting. I pulled your third name out of the bucket, and there is an I next to it in parentheses, which means this bucket pull is inside of the room, ladies and gentlemen. This is one of you representing you, the audience. Usually it's a first timer. Let's see what happens here. Ladies and gentlemen, Miguel Gonzalez, everybody. How about that? Whoa, oh, shit. Oh, shit. We met this guy during the commercial break. Oh, my God. We're in trouble now. Hey, what up, everybody? Opening line. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey. I could do his entire 60 seconds right now. Yeah, let's get Mike Feeney another drink, whatever he's having. Hell yeah. All right, one more time for your very own Miguel Gonzalez. Hi, everybody. So I nicknamed my booty hole Shrek because I stay having swamp ass. <laughs> just like Shrek, he doesn't want anyone in his swamp. But just like Donkey, my lady refuses to listen and tries to stick a finger in there. <laughs> But we all know in the end, though, Shrek ultimately loves Donkey's company, and there's even sweet sequels. That is it. All right. Dude, what more, the more, fuck? More, 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 more. That is it. What the fuck was that? 20 <laughs> seconds of your butthole Shrek hybrid jokes? Yeah. Written on a full-length napkin? Yeah. Where were you when you wrote that? I was at work, like, I don't know when we buy tickets, like 20 minutes. Like two months ago? Three months two ago? months ago, you wrote that. You wrote 20 seconds of material two in months my... ago, and you're like, with the laughter, this will be good. In my head. <laughs> this will be 60 seconds for sure, yo. Right. These people have no idea how funny Shrek and buttholes are combined. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, so. Wait, what? Paul, what'd you, I'm, just, I'm what'd you just say to this guy? Oh, yeah, put the microphone yeah. up to your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. So when I wrote this, I had it like I was going to say it slower, but I'm up here, I'm nervous, and I just ran right through it. That was never going to be a minute. Yeah. That was, <laughs> that was, that was no change. You actually sped through that. Uh, yeah. yeah, that would have never been. Yeah. yeah that is Very incredible. nervous being up here. I can't imagine how wet your ass must be right now. I mean, knowing Dude, the little bit that we know about you and the this, situation this that Texas you're in right now. weather has been bad. Yeah, that's crazy because yeah. it is autumn right now. Um, yeah. No doubt about it. Where do you live, Miguel? Uh, 40 minutes outside of Los Angeles. You performed at the Ontario Improv. Yes. So, no, Ontario. Uh, Ontario is yeah. the answer. Okay. Yeah. Very good. When I say Ontario, it's always uh, uh, Canadian. No, no one thinks Canada. you're Canadian, Canadian. Miguel Canadian. Gonzalez. Yeah. Canadian. Yeah. Canadian. Canada. Canada. My bad. Canada. Canada. Yeah. We don't think Write that into that act. Canadia. Write that on that yeah, act. Sure. Yeah. I'll work buy you that, another couple that, seconds. Yeah. Hey, I'm from Canadia. Canadia. <laughs> I, had to, I had to jump the wall to get here. Oh, man. <laughs> My parents did. Your what? My parents did. Your parents did. Absolutely. Yeah. Did they ever tell you that story? Of what uh, they... Honestly, they didn't jump it. They drove right across. Oh, okay. Drove Beautiful. Right across. Shout out to the uh, Border Patrol. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you Which, so much. Coincidentally, that's my, own, my cousin, Border Patrol. Your cousin's in the Border Patrol. Border Patrol. What do your parents think about that? They don't really care. Right. They he don't... let them in. He opened yeah, the door. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. He's the door guy. Yeah. Yeah. What do you do for work, Miguel? I drive big rigs. You what? Drive big rigs. Okay. Yeah. All right. Phil. That's where that swamp ass is coming from. Yeah. Right there. Exactly. Exactly. But, so yeah. you wrote that two months ago. Yeah. And you've kept it on that napkin the entire time. <laughs> no, I wrote this in the hotel. Okay. But it's been in my head since, yeah, those two months. You had it memorized. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> and in the hotel, you're like... Give me a napkin. <laughs> well, I knew I was going to completely forget it. So I was like, I'm going to need to write this down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. What do you do for fun? Tell us a fun fact about your life, Miguel. Um, I used to play hockey, but I love going to like concerts. Wait, That's my thing. you used to play hockey? I used to play hockey. No Just fucking like way. Just like adult league, though. Not professional, obviously. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, obviously. This guy gives us a bunch of information we obviously. don't need. Ontario, you'll never believe it. California, not Canada. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I played hockey, not professionally. Yeah. yeah, obviously. Wow. Unbelievable. Goalie? No, forward. Okay. Forward. And you played hockey. Hockey. How did yes. that go for you? How did you learn hockey? 
uh, through a friend. He just kind of, I went to go watch him. And then it was cool watching him. He told me to just buy all my gear, so I did. And That is so playing. weird. Normally, Mexicans hate ice. Ah. <laughs> yeah. That's great. That's great. Yes, it was. Absolutely. Was um, so, other than hockey, you have any special skills or talents or anything like that? No, just hockey. Soccer. What's your love life like? Girlfriend's over there. Is that the orange hair woman? That's orange her. Wow, orange hair. Wow, okay. Look at that. Yeah. Very interesting. Did she prepare material for this? No. No, no, no. chance, right? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. No. So did you run that Shrek material by her? Or? Not really, but kind of my brother, but no. She's, she's saying really. no aggressively, yeah, no, actually. Not really, no. So yeah. you didn't know that when he got up here, he was going to point right at you and tell everybody that you play with his swampy ass? <laughs> You didn't, cle you didn't sign off on that? No. Oh, that was new to you, too? Oh, look at that. We're all in this together. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Hell, yeah. I like that. How long have you two been together? 12, 15 years. Wow. Look yeah. at that. You guys have kids? No, no, no. Why do you say it like that? Because I don't want kids. We you don't said want it like all. you're from Ontario, Canada. No, no. We're no kids. We don't want any. None. Okay. No. What do you do? You have a pull-out method? Uh... Plan B. Plan B. Plan B. You just have her taking a bunch of Plan B. Well, no, I mean pull out for the most part, but when I do, yeah. Dude, what kind of Mexican are you? You play hockey and you don't want kids. <laughs> yeah. What is that? Like? <laughs> Never heard of that in my life. <laughs> that oh, is man. incredible. Yeah, I guess. Opposite of a Mexican. I guess shit talked a lot for that. Trust me. This Plan B thing is so interesting to me because I don't hear that very often. That's not like a normal thing that, hey, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, Plan B. How many times do you think you've had this poor woman take Plan B? <laughs> At least once a month. A once month? a month? <laughs> Have you... <laughs> There's week... gotta be like... <laughs> this weekend, literally this weekend. <laughs> going like cut this it weekend. out have you guys have you ever heard of birth control yeah you know, she was on it you but could, you could it. take it less than once a month she was on it but she just got off of it wow this poor lady why, why did... going shut the fuck up this is incredible <laughs> no this is... not at all <laughs> this is unbelievable you get this plan b from just a local drugstore or do you get it illegally sent in from mexico <laughs> uh costco planned parenthood and that's it what is it Costco and Planned Parenthood. Costco? Costco? Yeah, Costco. it's illegal here. You get it in bulk? He needs it in bulk, yeah. He needs it in bulk. This motherfucker. I'm going to need at least 12 to 24 of them. Okay. Oh, man. The, Costco the, has Plan B for real. Six yeah. bucks? Oh, that membership just went up Six like a month. Yeah. <laughs> they take oh. it off with a forklift if I get yeah. on a pallet. They have, they, I don't know what the hell's going on with this Plan B, but goddamn. <laughs> Yeah. You ask for the Mexican size. The Mex Plan bean. <laughs> Plan bean. <laughs> <laughs> Miguel, any other fun facts about you before we let you go? Nah, that's about it. How does it. it feel up here? It is... I can't even dream of this. I can't... I don't know. This is just wild to me. Yeah. It, yeah. You know what? Wild. You know what? <laughs> you know what? Your performance was so good. I'm gonna let you come inside of your girlfriend. Here. <laughs> here's a here's here's a little joke book. There you go. You go. You gonna be taking Thank Plan you. C tonight, girl. Thank you. You're be taking Plan C. There he goes. One more time for the inside zone, Miguel Gonzalez. Everybody. He was heckling during the commercial break that we took. By the way, little fun fact, and it's always fun to see how those that heckle end up doing on stage when they get up here. And that was a perfect example. 20 seconds of absolute fucking sludgy, wet underwear material by Miguel Gonzalez. And you never know who you're gonna get out of the bucket. We found your next comedian out of the bucket just a few months ago. And immediately he was the fastest ever comedian from bucket pool to regular after only one performance his next performance his first time as a regular was at the 10 year anniversary show where he famously said that he's not retarded but he loves rocks which over i believe 500 million people have heard about since then he's an absolute sensation we fucking love him here's a brand new minute from the future Cam Patterson, everybody. I 
I love you too, bitch. <laughs> so I'm getting money now, and that's, that's pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? Get money pretty cool, but I gotta pay taxes. So you know what that means, right? I'm going to jail. <laughs> but when I had a regular job, right, they would take the money out for me and they'd give me more money back at the end of the year. That's beautiful. Now that I'm a comedian, they give me all the money. <laughs> Tell Uncle Sam, come get that shit back in blood, nigga. Fuck you. <laughs> you know what I'm but what's crazy about my life right now is that, like, I got to start reading YouTube comments because I get a lot of good ones. You know what I'm saying? Y'all look great, but some the mean ones, the bitches hurt, dog. <laughs> Like I, got, I had a really good comment, and right under was a really bad one. A really good comment said, I think Cameron Patterson's a young star. He's going to be great in comedy. And then he also said, I also think he's going to be a great father. Real shit. So I also think he's going to be a great father when he has kids. And com the comment right under it said, I completely disagree. <laughs> now my time, Cameron, I appreciate y'all. Amazing. That is how it is done. Come on, a man. brand new minute, hot and ready on, for Cam Patterson. What's up with Game Body? Come on, that Game Body, nigga. We outside, nigga. What's up, man? What's up, killer? Uh, man, what's up with you, baby? Super white man, how you doing, brother? <laughs> uh, man. This the whitest nigga on earth, bro. Yeah. That's beautiful. We're the opposites, bro. No, 100%. Yeah. You got damn right we is, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah. Damn, I like you a good dude, bro. Thanks, man. You that's that a was, Subaru? That was it. No. <laughs> You know oh, what, though? He, he could help you with those taxes. Most yeah, definitely. He could yeah. help you with those yeah, taxes. I know a guy. I know we a guy. We got an accountant over you here in the crown, too. too. Right there. Right there. Doesn't own the For business, real? though. Doesn't own it. Then you don't own the business? My dog needs your help. Fuck, nigga. Where was you at? <laughs> <laughs> I was listening. I love it. So you don't have an accountant yet? No, no, no. What's the name of your firm, Mr. Real Accountant Guy? Oh, you don't have a firm. Oh. Ah, oh, who would have guessed? What the fuck? <laughs> he drives a Subaru. He drives a Subaru? <laughs> he does drive a Subaru. His friend just threw him under the bus. He just everybody. shit himself. Oh, yeah. no. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Cam Patterson with another fantastic minute. Uh, and it's true. You are making money now. You're yeah. doing it. I know for a fact that, uh, you know, the, the, you were just in L.A. all week taking meetings with all the biggest agencies in the world. Yeah. I mean, the really yeah. big deal. They are all literally yeah. right now competing, lying to Cam Patterson about the, <laughs> what they can do for him. <laughs> it was funny because I always wanted to be an athlete when I was a kid, so I just act like I was on like a recruitment visit. So I was like, y'all want me to play for uh, USC? No problem. I could do that. Most of You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It is, a, it is a lot like that. They, they, so tell us about it. How was it? It was cool. I mean, it was cool. Everybody talking to me and shit. It was, it was, it was real nice. Uh, I did. I just did Phoenix uh -huh. with uh, with David. Nice. That was dope. I fucked the bodybuilder lady. Oh, you did. Yeah, that was pretty fucking crazy, dog. Yeah, tell us about it. It was scary because I didn't know if she was a, a lady for real at first. <laughs> so I had, I had to go to her Instagram and scroll through some pictures. You know what I'm saying? And find out what, what she was before. And she was a lady, 100. percent but like 30 seconds in, when we were fucking, she was like, she was like, I was, I was fucking a, a, a missionary. And she thought I was trying to choke her, but I was just feeling for an Adam's apple. Cause... That's a smart move. It's a smart move. Yeah. That's a good move. That's a good move. Cause you get out 30 seconds in, my nigga, you good. That's not gay. That's not gay at all 30 seconds in. You do a whole minute, you gay as fuck, you know what I mean? she, was, she was indeed a lady, and I liked it. I had a good time. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Shout Did out to you, you know what I mean? You was a dope lady, you know what I mean? So she was very strong. She Did... was strong as shit. <laughs> Did she use... She was strong as fuck, dog. <laughs> Did she use any of this strength in the bed with you? She picked me up. <laughs> Nigga, she picked me up, bro. And spun me. I was like, "Wee! I'm having a good time." I was really enjoying myself. You know what I mean? I like strong bitches now. They cool. Strong bitches cool. Yeah. Fuck, Mr. Strong bitches. <laughs> oh my God! On, talk, I. Uh, oh, I forgot how much I love hosting the show. <laughs> You, you weren't even going to mention the fact that she picked you up had I not asked that question. Not at all. Right I wasn't going to say that shit. No, that's embarrassing. 
what part? You, what part was it? Were you like? Were you we guys were like, in missionary, dog. She was on her fucking back. She was on her fucking back, bro. She just bench pressed you. Back, she you bench know. pressed you. I'm trying to see yeah, it. Dude. I'm trying to see it. <laughs> she looked like Superman up there. You know? <laughs> I was having so much of a good. I was like, this is pretty dope, dog. I'm like, it's gonna be. It's pretty cool, man. Wait, can I ask? I really have serious questions. Like, like when we say strong, you say yeah. bodybuilder. Is she like yoked? Like, man, did she have boobs or she have all muscles? No, she had boobs. But you, she have did. you seen The Rock? Like The Rock? There yeah, you go. I'm yeah, seeing that's him. it. Yeah. Nah. The a, la a lady. She looked like that. Yeah, that Jack. Yeah. That well, she was, wasn't that big, but you know what I'm saying. She yeah, was, but she, she was, was yoked. Up she was up there, bro. <laughs> She was up there, bro. She had got there. What the bitch is right here? Traps. 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 Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what are these I seen that at the show, and I just seen her titties. All I saw were titties. I was like, oh, them titties are perfect. Now, were they real? Yeah, they, oh, they were fake titties. They fake were, titties. Uh, yeah, the yeah, bodybuilders sure tend to have the fake titties. Yeah. Could you feel, like, the pec muscle underneath there? Or? Nah, I was sucking on them bitches, though. I'll tell you that much. Absolutely. <laughs> got some muscle milk coming out of them. <laughs> Getting that protein for the day. <laughs> Little baby Cam getting big. <laughs> 24 grams, dude. <laughs> I love it. So did she spend the night at your hotel? Oh, she got the fuck out of that. She would have came with. <laughs> right. She would have game plan. Well, shit, I fought with her though. Shout out to you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Did it feel different? No, it was pussy. It was still Just pussy. Just regular pussy. Was it was a tighter? Was it muscular? No, no, no. I know pussy. Yo, I know pussy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know pussy. Yeah, did you go down on her at all? Fuck no. <laughs> nah, she would've killed me, nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> Crush her head, yeah. <laughs> 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 nigga, she would've murdered me, you know? <laughs> like those videos of the women that squeeze the watermelon yeah. between their thighs? <laughs> she would've done it. I would've came back with brain damage, nigga. <laughs> yeah, dog. Oh my goodness! Unbelievable. So you and David Lucas did Phoenix together. Yeah, yeah, we sold it out. We you sold guys out went up shit. black to black. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, what was that? Stand up live? No, nah, the Tip Improv. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another one of the best comedy clubs in the country. Yeah, that shit was dope. I really enjoyed it. Not better than this. This is the best place in the world. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so definitely dope though. You good time. Good time. We're going to have fun this week, Philly. Yeah, my when... mama coming. Oh, I love it. To Philly? Yeah, it's her first time seeing me do a theater. So that's going to oh, be good. Oh, amazing. Does she live in Philly? No, no, no. She's based, she a flight and she's based out of Philly, so she's going to be there. Nice. That's yeah, yeah. great. I love it. I always love meeting your family members. There's always a lot of them that come to the shows. Yeah. My, my in... dad got 12 brothers and sisters, dog, so they yeah. live everywhere. Yeah. So he's like, hey, let me, let me, come on, your cousin got to come. I ain't seen niggas since I was three. You feel that? Right. Yeah. You don't know me, nigga. Yeah. But it's cool. I, I fuck with it. Does your mom have a lot of siblings, too? Nah, nah, nah. nah. She's a flight she's attendant, too, yeah. huh? Very interesting. How is she always done that your whole life? Whole life, yeah. So she's uh, uh, busy a lot, yeah, gone. Was, yeah, yeah, Interesting. And uh, what's your relationship like with her? Oh, it's just my, my mama. We locked in, you feel that? Right. She a white lady at heart, but we locked in. <laughs> That's interesting. What? That's very interesting. When you say she's a white lady at heart, what exactly do you mean by that? like a white lady, you feel what I'm saying? Ooh. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how this happened with me, but you know. <laughs> so just like a white lady, but I love, we like that my mama, you feel what I'm saying? Hey, mom, we on TV. Aw, how sweet. Oh, and David Dollar said, national television, bitch. <laughs> I love that. That is so cool. So she's going to be there in Philly, and then we go to Youngstown, and yeah. then Cincinnati. Yeah, yeah. Very fun. Very exciting stuff. What else is going on? Anything else you have coming up that you want to oh, plug? Uh, shit, I'm doing, uh, I'm doing uh, the, uh, the Hollywood Improv November 28th. That'd yeah. be cool. Hell yes, that'd be dope. Yeah. Awesome. And that's uh, awesome. And the, sh the shirts are huh? flying. Wow, wow, that shit looks demonic. I left it where it was. Uh, it's just a random pale heckler in the audience asking Cam if he still has his rock, everybody. There he is. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'll stone your ass, nigga. <laughs> oh, he does have rocks on him. There they are. There they are, the very famous rocks. Absolutely. A whole pocket full of them. Yeah, yeah, this one's from Alaska. Where you from? 
Where I'm from. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Buddy, where I'm from, when people have, where I'm from, where people have rocks in their pockets, they're trying to kill themselves. That's usually how that goes. They walk right into the river with rocks in their pockets. What the yeah. fuck? For yeah, real? it weighs you down. Oh, that's terrifying. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to worry about it. I feel like, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Cam, do you know how to swim? Yeah, I can swim. Hell yeah. Yeah, perfect. When I was a kid, my mom she used to throw me into the water and let me drown. For oh, she really is a white lady at heart. <laughs> <laughs> Cam, you're a fucking superstar. I mean, it's unbelievable the caliber of comedy that you do every week. So fucking fun. Unbelievable. The man, the myth, the legend. There he is. We're gonna have more fun later. Make some noise one more time for Cam Patterson, everybody. Come on. All right. Okay, I do believe this guy's been on the show a few times back in the day. He's back. Here's a new minute from Connor Nutt, everybody. Connor Nutt. Here we go. Here he is. Big some for Connor, everyone. Oh, shit. What's up, Mothership? Hell, yeah. I'm in a good mood. I uh, had a one-night stand this weekend, and, uh, yeah. I, uh, I got the awesome compliment. I woke up in her bed the next morning. And she was like, Connor, gotta be honest with you. Last night, that was really impressive. You're the first man to make me have an orgasm from missionary position. And y'all, I gotta be honest, that shit fixed 90% of my mental health issues, guys. That, <laughs> it's all sunshine and rainbows up here, dude. I, ladies, if your man's going through a hard time, just say that, you know? Even if you're lying, we're not gonna follow up. You're good. <laughs> yeah. I was so happy. I left her place. First thing I did when I got home is I took the toaster out of my bathtub. Uh, and then I called my therapist and told him he's fired. He never told me shit half that dope, dude. It's just good to have a nice, like, positive hookup. Like, one night stands are always a bad idea. A few weeks ago, I did this, tried the same thing. Took home this girl for raspy voice. Thought it'd be all right. No, it felt like I, it felt like I was fucking Steve-O from Jackass. Yeah, all right, that's my time. I'll thank you guys. Why? Why did it feel like you were Steve-O from Jackass? <laughs> yeah. It just had a really raspy voice. Like, it, it, like the, I kind of, the joke ends with, like, I was trying to be sexy with her. Like, I was hitting it from behind. I was like, hey, you like that? And she just turned around and went, <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, kind of felt like fucking her like that. All right, that's a, I guess that's a uh, Steve-O impression. All right, yeah. Connor, welcome. <laughs> welcome. Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Tony? Good. How long have you been doing stand-up for? Two and a half years now. Two and a half years. All of it here in Austin? Yes, sir. How's it been going for you? Been going great, man. Yeah, what's yeah. going on with it? Tell us some highlights. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, I'm hosting for Craig Gas this weekend. I've got started my own show this year. been doing that monthly at uh, Roscoe's on the east side. At uh, Roscoe's? Yes, sir. Is that it? chicken and waffles place no it's uh behind via 313 it's the new club in town okay yeah. another new comedy club yes sir amazing okay how do you make your money connor uh i work at a local boot store on south congress boot store yes sir okay is it allen's uh it's down the block it's called heritage oh i love heritage boots. yes i'm a sir. regular customer there do you yeah. know that uh, yes kimber they, talks about you that's right like kimber's him. the shit yeah. it's actually where i got my wallet as well look at this hell it's yeah like, custom made there's a skull and a dollar sign on a coffin and it's red on the inside oh it's filled with credit cards and cash <laughs> anyway um so let's talk about it connor how's austin treating you what do you do for <laughs> 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 what do you do for fun uh i go to a lot of concerts here okay yeah all right um just saw avenge sevenfold a few a lot of metal and rock shows so i saw avenge sevenfold <laughs> Yeah, cool. Oh, wow. A lot of Sick. Avenged Sevenfold fans that yeah. have wet asses. Yeah. Yeah, uh, like, the coolest thing I'd say, like, I've gotten from, like, working in a... I used to work at Vulcan, if, if you remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just got to see Kiss there a year ago for Formula One. It was, like, a private show, so I got paid to see that. That was Amazing. awesome. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, so tell us something exciting about your life. You see you have the, all the energy of a glass of water. <laughs> uh, so we're trying to figure out... Yeah, um... I, I don't know. I just do a lot of get to do a lot of fun. Go to a lot of fun events. Like I just went to like the Stroh's game in Houston. Uh, yeah, we're we're getting our ass kicked right now. We're not going to the World okay. Series. Okay, so Sorry. let me let's talk about this, uh, yeah. Connor. You're you're talking about a bunch of things that get like natural applause breaks from the audience. Um, oh, you know, uh, hey, I like uh, breathing oxygen. Anybody else? <laughs> you know, like, yeah, gotta, people gotta love it. Support the troops and uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, anybody like uh, pasta? <laughs> Right. Who likes to fuck? Yeah. Don Barry. So, 
Okay, but what I'm asking is like, what's something personal to you? Like uh, something interesting about you, Connor? Um, I, I, I can play the guitar. I just spent a lot of my life doing that. You can play the guitar? Yes, sir. Really? Mm -hmm. Can you really play the guitar? Uh, yes, sir. What do you do when you play the guitar? Do you sing? Uh, no, I'm not a very good singer. So like if, it, if, if, let's say that there's a girl that you really liked and there was a guitar plugged in, you would just play the guitar? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, no, that guy. And he wouldn't good. sing? No, I mean, I, can, I don't sing very well, no. Like, uh, I, like for her, if it's like, an, like, I would never perform sing, but if it's like around for a girl, maybe. If I, like this song was in the right key. Or Are something. you really good at guitar? Uh, I can play some difficult songs, yes. Really? Yes. Matt, what do you think? You think this guy could play a difficult song? He's what? Okay, all right. Matt says Connor's a homie. How many of you want to hear Connor play guitar here in the live music capital of the world? Let's see what happens here. I don't it know. can't. It can't be less interesting. Right. You know? Exactly. Anything is better than him answering questions. So <laughs> in a one-word answer. <laughs> yeah. It's got six strings to deal with here. So let's see what happens here. This is a, his last name is Nut. Everybody. So N U T T. Can't make that up. It is without a doubt the funniest thing about him. <laughs> and uh, here he goes. He has the hair of a guy that can play guitar. He has the build of a guy that can play guitar. There you go. Finger it. it seems finger, like, finger it, you faggot. <laughs> it's, it seems like he was losing at Guitar Hero. Yeah, it's like, it's like if, if this was Guitar Hero, it would be like... <clears throat> And the crowd be like, boo, boo, you suck. Like you're missing so many keys, it's incredible. But you know what I mean. So it's it's, 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 like, it's okay. You know, it's all right. I mean, you gave it your all. I think that, that could be your all. There's D's. The band tried to back you up. They tried to protect you, but. <laughs> Um, so Connor, here we are. We're finding out all the things that you're not good at. Um, is, is there anything else that you think you're good at that you're not good at? Let's go through the whole rigmarole here. Can you kind of jump rope? Yeah. Kind of jump. <laughs> I'll start jumping this mic stand. <laughs> what do you think your uh, third biggest talent is? <laughs> I almost said comedy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What's first then? Uh... Gosh, man, uh, this is a good question. I, I'm kind of freaking out. Shit. Selling boots. I'm selling yeah. boots, man. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Well, I think what we learned here is that uh, those boots are made for walking. <laughs> there he goes, Connor. Not you've gotten a joke book before, right? No, this is my first time. Never. All right, here you go, my friend. Boom, Connor. Not everybody, and the beat goes on. Did we get them yet? Oh, there it is. Okay, sweet. All right. This looks like an interesting name. Let's see what happens. Are you guys still having fun out there, huh? Anything can happen, you know? Our next regular, a golden ticket winner, could be right around the corner. Or you end up with a Connor nut. You know what I mean? Anything can happen. All right, your next comedian out of the bucket. 60 seconds uninterrupted, going to Gent Jones, everyone. Gent Jones, here we go. The beat goes on with Gent Jones, yes. This is my very first time on Kill Tony, and I'm excited to be here. 
I ain't gonna lie, I didn't expect to get caught. I had my mindset to set my alarm. Like, let me see how long they take in between me and the next guy so I can go step outside. That didn't happen. I got called up right away. I'm like, oh shit, this is it. This is fucking it. No, thank you. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. I got a disability on my left side, as you can see. It's crazy how it happened. It happened in middle school. I feel like I was a threat, and God was like, give that nigga kryptonite. <laughs> I was fucking Superman. I was a menace. He knew I was going to be a menace. So with that, it makes dating hard, because I can't defend my girl for getting into a scrap, because when that shit happened, and we get jumped, we getting jumped. <laughs> I got a strong right, but a weak left. Once they catch that, baby, that's it. You better run and get hope. <laughs> if you can't, call 911. They may come looking for me, depending on your description. <laughs> but tell them, no, officer. The phone call was made for me. It is them over there. You know, they, they, they're non-binary nowadays. Green hair and tattoos. But yeah, that's my, that's my time, y'all. I'm Jen Jones. <laughs> okay, Jen Jones. So what exactly is the restriction there? What is that? What happened to you? I had a brain tumor in middle school. Going into, I think it was eighth, seventh grade. Right. Man, shit was crazy. I mean, oh. I, was, I was about to play sports, get on basketball. Then I'm like, fuck, plans have changed. Oh my goodness. So were you able to, is it, what's the restriction? Can you lift it up? What is it? Does it just kind of stay stiff like that? Let me throw some at you. I'm stiff because I'm on stage, but I work at the fucking airport. I throw bags. <laughs> Wait, you met me? What'd you say? I said it's stiff now because I'm on stage and I work at the airport, so that can give you an answer. I can throw bags. You throw bags at, at the airport? Yeah. I work for American Airlines, so. Oh, that's why my that bags is, end wait, up going wait. missing all the time. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, sorry, sorry. If my, if my dog is all our shit. Is oh, my God. God. <laughs> if, 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 yeah, we just have to never check wait, a bag. Wait, wait. If my job I'm is watching on this, only. I, throw, I, I place your bags until the plane will care. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is incredible. Every other bag. <laughs> oh yeah, every other bag getting it. But if, it, if it's Tony's bag, <laughs> special treatment. Holy shit. So when you get nervous, it kind of stiffens up? That's the crazy thing, bro. It stiffens up all the fucking time. I can't even spit game without it stiffening up. I gotta come up with something. Wow, so if a police officer's like, put your fucking hands up right now. <laughs> officer, this is the best I can do. <laughs> I'll tell you one funny story. I got pulled over by the cops with my friends one time. We said, open your hand. Sir, I can't. <laughs> yeah. Do you try to explain it as fast as you can? I had a brain tumor when I was seven. Please don't fucking shoot me. <laughs> oh, every time, because they don't want to hear it. Right. While I'm talking, they placing me in the car. I'm like, all right, here's the story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. So, wow. Because you, you look like Chappelle Lacey with MS. That's what you look like. <laughs> uh, that would be even funny if I knew who that was. <laughs> kind of does, though. You're right. Oh, you yeah. don't know Chappelle Lacey? I'm a little too young That's for you, That's okay. Man. You got to look him up. That's all right. I'll you don't have to right know everybody. This, you're, you're a comedian, so you got to be a, a student of the game. Go look up Chappelle I, Lacey. He's great. Man, you know, I studied Daisy Chappelle, Cat Williams, Richard Pryor. Patrice O'Neill, God bless his soul. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's more so, than four, but yeah. yeah. Oh my bad. There's Bill. Oh, yeah, some current ones. Well, you should look up you some current ones. You guys, there's Bill Burr too. He's hilarious. I yeah. love Bill Burr. One yeah. white guy. Trust me, you're gonna like Chappelle Lacey. <laughs> I'm gonna look him up just for you. You look just like him. Thank you. That's, That's a not racist. Huh? It's very. You're very similar to him. <laughs> is it the receding hairline? Is that what it is? No, I don't think he has a receding hair. You have a look. You have a soft eyes. You have a nice smile. Wow. All right. Soft oh, eyes. You got Shit. soft eyes Ladies, and nice smile. Ladies, take notes. You look, like, you look like a kind soul. You look like a kind soul. I'm the soul. guy you can bring home to your parents. Right. But if, if I'm also worried that get you fired up, this arm right here could be a fucking death hammer. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know what's crazy? You sit there like, You know, ah, when, ah, when, ah, you, you know when puberty hit, you try to masturbate? I tried to send it with my left. It didn't go as planned. <laughs> Are you like a lefty? It, it's like doing it with a stranger. I ain't gonna lie. Can you write? Are you a lefty or are you, you right? I was that? trying to be dual, dual, what they call it, dual? What Ambidextrous. Yeah, I was trying to do that when I was younger, <laughs> but. And then God took you down for trying yeah, to do he's that. like, yeah. hey, 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 I don't do miracles. I'll tell God you. God punished you. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. Can you jerk off with that hand? I can place it on an object and attempt to jerk <laughs> off. <laughs> What's your love life like? Do you have a girlfriend? Just Man, good, boy. Oh, I, good boy. I have tried dating. It doesn't go as planned, especially when they don't know if my dick can work. I got to explain that to them all the time. Right. Yeah, like uh, I have two stiff things. It's okay. Yeah, well, it's not. Well, it can get stiff, but, but you know. But I always explain with this twig and two berries, I can still pop cherries. So 
Uh, I'm still, uh, I, I can still slang, but I never got that close to an opportunity to put it down. So I just, you know, oh. wait impatiently till my time comes. Absolutely. Speaking you're a virgin? Is that you're what you're saying? You're openly admitting you're you a virgin. You don't want to even know that story. Yeah, we do. Yes, we do. That's <laughs> the only thing I want to know. What are you talking about? Lead well, with that. since we on live, I'll put it like this. I got some sympathy pussy. Okay, let's talk about it. Go ahead. It was an older woman at a bar. Older woman at a bar. I was struggling, spitting. <laughs> I was struggling and spitting game. Yeah. She didn't care to know my name, and I was... One thing led to another, and child, that's how I met your mother. Unbelievable. My goodness. No, I wrapped it up, so I don't have a kid, unless it's in the condom. <laughs> how much older was she? How old are you? I ain't gonna lie to the next age, but she was up there. Like 60s? Oh, no, no, no. She wasn't grand, but she was up there. She was probably like... 50s? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Mom and Dad. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever... Uh, you have a, any other, like, hobbies or anything like that? I like, I, used, I like editing photos and videos and on my spare time like I did today. I like hey, to you, if you worked with videos, I would, I, I would guess that you'd be one of the uh, tripods that uh, hold up the... <laughs> You know what's crazy? I said I like editing videos, but... <laughs> I can't hold a camera for shit if you already know why, but yeah, I do have a camera though. <clears throat> I little... thought you said I can't hold a candle. <laughs> you better not with that motherfucking hand. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought you said. I'm like, what? Oh, uh, that's funny. I could blow it out. I could blow out a candle. Yeah, I do make birthday wishes. Thank goodness. What else are you into? What else do you do for fun? I like, Gen to, go, I like, to, I like to go on walks like all the time. Like three mile. Oh, yes. Three, three mile walks if possible. I'm trying to lose weight. This is my come up period. It's my winter arc, as we call it on TikTok. Okay. I'm trying to get my body in shape. So when summer hit, I can sling that dick. Right. Right. I don't that's think, the goal. I don't, I don't think that's, that's the only the thing you need to sling for. Uh... <laughs> hey, I set myself up for that one. <laughs> I love it, Jen. Very, very interesting. How long have you been doing stand up again? I've been doing it on and off for um, uh, quite a while, but I actually took it seriously when I came here to Austin. When last, was that? Like last year. Mm -hmm. I was just like, fuck it, I'm starting doing stand-up again. I was scared to do it because, you know, cancel culture got big. Everybody getting attacked left and right. Twitter was fucking huge. Well, if anybody's going to attack you, it's on the left and the right. It's the right that they would yeah, attack you. Yeah, the right and the but right. I will yeah. tell you, right. the moment Elon Musk took over Twitter, I'm like, oh shit, it's my chance. Yep. <laughs> I went for it. Yep, because no, no one knows about hating the left wing more than you. <laughs> Trust me, I know. They never had my back. <laughs> Jen Jones, welcome to Kill Tony. Thank you. I, honestly, Woo! normally I give you a little joke book, but I just want to see if you can catch this. Don't do that. Don't all right, do wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. You guys ready? Jen Jones. Yeah. The place goes wild. The energy here is amazing. One more time for Jen Jones, everybody. Give him a hand, perhaps a left hand. He needs one really badly. <laughs> yeah, of course. Jen Jones, everybody. Come on. One more time for Jen, to everyone. All right, we're getting through it here. This is an interesting name. I bet this person's funny. I could totally be wrong, but it's a funny name I've never heard of before. I would know it if I've seen it. Make some noise. Let's all watch for the first time together. 60 seconds from Dewey Rice. Dewey Rice. Jen Jones to Dewey Rice. How's it going, everybody? So I've come to realize I am way too good at desensitizing myself to stuff. Everybody is these days with all the beheading videos and porn or whatever, but I do it with real life situations, like, uh, like jacking off in my car. I had, I had to live in my car for six months and it is disgusting how quick I became okay with that. It was, it was really just one day of me being like, oh, should I, should I do it, what's going on? And then I just squeezed one onto the floor. I rubbed it in like I was putting out a cigarette. And I was like, oh. It's that easy, it's that easy. I also got really good at pissing in bottles. I let those bake sometimes. Uh, but yeah, anyways, for work I do Uber Eats. I deliver food. Yeah, remember that. Next time you order food, I've got cum caked carpets and a wine cellar of piss. 
and they let me deliver y'all's food. So, yeah. Uh, and he, real quick, a uh, cop pulls over a lady, a uh, white lady, and he's like, ah, he's filling out his report. What are you, Caucasian? She says, nah, I'm vagina white. <laughs> That's a bad joke. But, yeah. Wow, there you go. Gross 60 seconds, followed by a 10-second fucking bad joke. Yeah. Hell yeah. One more time for Dewey Rice, his arrival on Kill Tony. Welcome. This is the world's largest 11-year-old boy. Yeah. It's incredible. You'd be surprised how much I get that. Yeah. I bet. No, I bet. You, actually, you, you wouldn't do. be surprised. You look like a giant, giant yeah. child. Yeah. It's unbelievable. I yeah. can picture you like we're walking around in a diaper, all mad for some reason. Uh, yeah, yeah, do we, in my how car, old are maybe. you? I'm sorry? How old are you? 23. 20? Just turned 23. years old. What's it like being a 23-year-old nowadays? It's not fun, man. Tell not me fun. about it. Uh, well, it's not fun for me. I recently got a, I'm going I got arrested I'm going through a bunch of stuff but I'm 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 good now dude I'm going cool. DoorDash from now yeah. on I'm yeah. never going yeah. fucking Uber Eats oh, yeah. Yeah. shit favor Costco memberships went up and yeah. fucking yeah. Uber Eats went down yeah. tonight yeah. <laughs> Yeah. My goodness. So what type of trouble with the law did you get? And what is it, jaywalking? What's uh, jumping off on people's food? What yeah. do you mean? That's, he probably got caught. You get caught? Say what? No, I, uh, I broke up with my girlfriend and packed up all the shit that I had and was going to take it to my mom's house. My headlight was out and I got pulled over and everything I own happens to include uh, a gun, some weed, and a bunch of Adderall. So... <laughs> 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 oh my god so hold on a second so your headlight is out what gave the officer probable cause to search your car uh my car smelled like weed bad ah, bad. bad he said bad, bad. <laughs> wow like really bad and you're still employed by uber eats uh yeah i was well, not after this right yeah exactly you have literally technically i use my buddies my roommates uber eats account so like, oh shit yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. So I am employed by DoorDash, though, and that was before I got arrested, so it still can carry on. So you don't know your dad at all, right? That's what I'm getting. <laughs> no, I do, but we got some problems, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, for yeah. sure. For sure, yeah. 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 <laughs> what kind of yeah. problems? What kind of problems do you have with your daddy, Judge, uh, other than well, being uh, tremendously disappointed? In we've at, I, I shouldn't say that. We have reconnected recently, but he disowned me for about, like, five years because of weed. Uh, <laughs> We really, yeah, he's, yeah. But now he does shrooms and smokes weed, so like it's weird. Yeah, it's you really should weird. disown him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should. Yeah. 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 You should be like, Dad, you were a pussy back then. He was a pussy, Dad. I don't know where the camera's at, Dad. If you're watching. Oh, there he goes. Fuck he's you. leaving you again right yeah. now. There he goes. <laughs> he goes. There, there he is. He's <laughs> out. Got his back to you and everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. What's your love life like? You have a, a boyish presence to you? Uh, nah. Since I broke up with we were my, I broke up with my girlfriend. We were dating for about four years, maybe five, and. Uh, yeah, since then... What made you break up with her? What she made... didn't want to move into the car with you? <laughs> yeah. What made you dash to the door to get away? Uh, we had a bunch of problems with each other. Uh, it was kind of a mutual thing. I initiated it, but it, it was mutual. It was very tight. It was not good. Uh, yeah. And she... Yeah. Red, Band has, Red Band is assuming yeah. domestic violence. <laughs> uh, something like that, not on my part, but... yeah. <laughs> Yeah, are are you okay? Bat. Huh? Are you okay? Like I'm, physically right now, you, your nose is sweating. I've never seen anybody's nose it sweat. It is true. I, I am sweating. seeing the glisten. Only his nose Only is his sweating. Only his nose is sweating. Very right interesting. Here. It is, Do it you is snort the Adderall? Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've done that before, but no. Yeah. Okay. I haven't done Adderall since I've got arrested. I haven't done any drugs since I've got arrested for legal reasons. Ah, uh, look who's backtracking on this uh, <laughs> <laughs> manifesto <laughs> performance <laughs> that he's putting on. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done any drugs, and I don't really come in my car, and I don't piss in bottles. I step outside of the car and piss For like an reasons, animal. For everything he said is true. <laughs> you know, yeah. you, do, you, ha you do have a boy. You have a very, like, I feel like you could walk into a play right now and be Huck Finn. To the way, you know what I mean? <laughs> 
Am I wrong about that? Does he not look Dude, like he could stand Birkenstocks on a raft? Are fucking crazy. What percentage of comedians These come are out rocking shorts and open-toed shoes? Don't do that with comedy. Look at that. I, it was raining today, man. You I wasn't gonna come out here on in my feet, one pair too. of shoes. <laughs> There's scabs on your feet. Uh, yeah. Put socks and shoes on. It's raining, man. I have one good pair of shoes. I'm not gonna wear that while this it's raining. This is the time to wear them. This what do you do? Wear about? <laughs> when I've millions been, of people. I've been coming here for like three months and I've not got called. I was not expecting it, but like, it, yeah, it's you were my in fault Austin for, not... for three months. I've been in Austin for like four or five years, but I've been coming here for three months. What do you mean trying... here? To Kill Tony, trying. I've been trying to sign up for Kill Tony. For right, like and this three was months. the set you had prepared months ago. Uh, not nah, months. Nah, this is just like now. Sure. Yeah, that yeah, checks out. Yeah. No. Yeah. Do you think you did all your best jokes? Do you have a better joke than the one that you, one ones that you did? Uh, I feel like I've got some more. I don't know if they're better. I I got some more. How many do you think we should hear one more joke from? Um, let's hear one more joke. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, I used to work at this pizza place, right? The owner, he was a super weird guy, really fucking weird. I come in one day and he's like, "Hey, Dewey, I got this new slow cooker. Come check it out." And I'd, I'd never heard of a pizza place using a slow cooker. So I go in the back and there's just a kid with Down syndrome fucking pounding on some pizza dough. And I was like, Jesus Christ, Josh. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, some people like it. I mean, what? Jude Law, Jude Law what? loves it. Look at Jude Law what? in the audience just hanging out. Yeah. I just noticed that right now. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Uh, wow. <laughs> How about... Uh, yeah. That's a sentence, all right, you know? <laughs> <laughs> slow cooker, and the person was slow. Very slow. He okay. na his name was Josh. He gave him a name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was that wasn't Josh. actually his name, but... <laughs> wow. Yeah. He's wow. a real person that was inspired by a real person? Yeah, yeah, he was... Yeah, I'm Write not Write what you know, it. bro. Yeah. Write what you know. Oh, hey, look who it is, everybody. Come out. Austin's newest resident, <laughs> the great Shane Gillis, everyone. I believe that was him. Yeah! Whoa, dude, whoa, dude, whoa! There he is. Ah, he hates your Birkenstocks, dude. Yeah, <laughs> that's what happens. You say Down Syndrome three times, Down Syndrome Beetlejuice <laughs> pops out of nowhere. <laughs> Make some fucking noise for the best stand-up comedian in the world right now, Shane Gillis, the newest resident of Austin, Texas. Fuck yeah. Dewey, uh, congratulations on having your first uh, appearance on Thank Kill you. Tony. Since you're off all the hard stuff, we're going to give you a big bag of Zipix nicotine toothpicks. Zip yeah. more, smoke less. I smoke a lot of cigarettes. I'll there you go. Yeah. And here's a little joke book. And you're leaving with a gel blaster as well. There he goes, Dewey Rice, everybody. Thank you, guys. There he goes. Dewey. Do we have any better jokes than that? <laughs> <laughs> he do not. Yeah. All right. All right. We're going to go to the bucket one last time. We're in it. You guys still having fun out there? All right. Your final bucket pool of the night goes by the name of Heath Cordez, everybody. Here we go. We're going to finish it strong. 60 seconds uninterrupted by Heath Cordez, everyone. Here we go. Here comes Heath Oh, shit. Okay. Fuck yes. Make some fucking noise for Heath Cornez. I feel like... I feel like I'm the opposite of a pedophile. I'm 21 years old, but on, on the outside, I'm just a little boy. <laughs> and that's because for me growing up, puberty was a lot like my father, absent. <laughs> and so I get asked about my age all the time, how old are you, how old are you? No, I'm not selling you fentanyl, how old are you? And 
And it gets annoying having to answer this question all the time. So over the years, I've started to have fun with it. And I sometimes tell people that I was never born. <laughs> And that I have been present through all of what has been and what will be. See, I came into existence before the earth and stars and I will be here on the day they fall because I am ageless. But yet old enough to fuck your mother. Holy yes, sir. shit. Yes, sir. Oh my God. <laughs> this is what this show is all about. Some people fucking, this is what drives me crazy. People say, I hear this rumor all the time that this bucket is rigged. And then I go, one last bucket, but let's see what happens. And this fucking monster comes out. <laughs> This is unbelievable. Holy shit, you are built for this. You are a fucking, you are the fucking Lamborghini of comedians. I mean, holy shit. Wow. You're a star. There's nothing that's gonna possibly stop you. Holy shit. You're you. really 21? Yes, sir. How long I am. have you been doing stand-up comedy? Two years. Two years oh, in October. Oh my wow. God! <laughs> oh fuck! This is crazy. Wow. <laughs> All right. Where do we begin? Uh, you live here in Austin. I did. I just moved here a couple months ago. And you did it for stand-up comedy. Yeah, to I be did. at the epicenter of yes, stand-up. Sir. Oh my God! Wow. Wow. And. Where did you move from? Alabama, baby. Wow. Yeah. Alabama. Fuck Alabama. yeah. Alabama. So all it takes is a nephew fucking an aunt for this to happen. Yeah, man. Oh my God. Well, this is wild. Uh, Heath Cordes. Am I saying that right? Cordes. The Cordes. white version. Yeah. I love it. I'll never say it wrong again. <laughs> Heath Wow. Cordis. Absolutely incredible. Everything is bigger in Texas except for you. <laughs> except for me, man. <laughs> My <laughs> God. How much material do you think you have two years in like that? I mean, obviously, that's your best minute. We let you go extra long. A red band had his finger over the bear. I told him to gr <laughs> grow a fucking set of balls. <laughs> We're going to let you do whatever you want. Um, <laughs> so you got to do, what, like a minute 35 or something like that. Because nothing, you. literally you. nothing can stop you. Thank you. Are, are your uh, parents uh, two-year-olds? Say that. Thank you, Red Band. Really good. <laughs> really good. I was really waiting for you to jump in and put some intellectual humor into this moment. Thank you. Do you do 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 do? You fucking nothing. All right, burger. tripod Tony. Oh, Jesus Christ, the tripod joke was great. It's just inside baseball. There's a lot of cameramen around the country <laughs> laughing at that joke. Everyone knows a tripod holds a camera. It's black and it has three legs. <laughs> three the guy legs. had one arm and two legs. The tripod joke was very smart. Didn't hit with his dumb audience, but there's people around the world dying right now, still laughing at the tripod joke. They're not even over it yet. <laughs> They pause, and they're still laughing. They're running around the house laughing at my fucking tripod joke. Dude. Okay, so holy shit. Heath Cordes, a yes, star is born. Oh, so, I mean, oh my God. So let me just get through some real questions that I think that the world would want to know about you. So are you, like, still growing? 
Dude, hopefully, fingers crossed, man. <laughs> fingers crossed. <laughs> so, like, do you have, like, one of those things where, like, you go against your kitchen wall and, like, do that <laughs> shit or something like that? Yeah, <laughs> man, I still got one going. It hasn't changed yeah. since he was seven. It just had that same Every black. now and then I'll put on my shoes just so I feel better about myself, get a couple inches. Yeah, how, man. How tall are you? Uh... I can tell people five, you know, four eleven. Really? On a bad day, four eleven. And when's oh, the last yeah. time? How long have you been four eleven? Like, like since middle school, man. Damn. <laughs> you haven't grown since middle school. No, no, not really. Has your, <laughs> has your dick? <laughs> you were gonna say no. You were gonna say no. <laughs> <laughs> you were... Oh my God. You know oh what? My God. This kid came out. He did a pump fake on that note. Yeah. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. He realized a he million ran, chicks. He ran the light, but the only one to crush was something after running the light, number yes. one. You got a standing O. My mom is six foot tall. I, I want to watch you fuck her. Yeah. <laughs> I, want you to I, fuck I my would want to watch you, you totally eat pussy standing. Yeah. That's what I'd want to watch. You can eat my mom's pussy standing up. Oh. Let's do it right now on stage. Yeah, let's do I'm it. Mrs. Her. Sickler, come out here. I'm a, I'm a face timer. Come out. <laughs> she out. ain't coming out. I cannot imagine how bad her back must be. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about your love life a little bit more here, Heath. What's going on with it? Do, do any women believe you at all whatsoever? Oh, man. No way. No, you I, I gave up on that, man. I don't yeah. deal with it anymore. Yeah. Crazy. You're, oh, you're, you're going to find... I mean, you're, you're, I mean, you're about to be famous as fucking shit, so you're going to yeah. be just fine. Yeah, that was... One of these... Gold digging fucking sugar babies is gonna fucking absolutely devour you. Were you uh, on Jared Fogel's hard drive? <laughs> if it pays, you know, I'll do it. Oh my it's like o Ozempic God. Andy Milanakis. Does anybody remember that guy? Oh my. Thank you, just this God. guy. Who weirdly looks like Andy Milanakis. That was fun. <laughs> wow, it really does. Uh, so he, well, let's know. get back into it. Yeah, go ahead, yeah, Ryan. Yeah. Do, do me, older men pick up on you? Yeah, yeah. surprisingly. Not, like it, not it, surprisingly. Not surprisingly, not, surprisingly, no. not surprisingly yeah. at all, unfortunately. Yeah, only fans, if this doesn't work out, that's an option. Do you know? older dudes are coming at you? Yeah. Like, yeah. what do they say to you? Um, just, just creepy stuff. Not much. And then when you I, say I'm 21, they're like, oh, I'm out of here. Yeah, they're yeah, out of yeah, it. Yeah, they don't want that. Yeah, they don't want that. Yeah, don't want that. yeah there goes that boner, that pedo yeah. boner. Yeah. Oh, my God. You're a bucket list for a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Every 10 seconds that goes on, I have seven more questions. So, like, we're in, like, a real crazy situation right now. This might be literally the greatest bucket pull of all time. <laughs> You are such a fucking... And you know what's crazy is that if you came out here and you bombed, it would have been okay and good too. But yeah. you are literally a natural comedian. You're completely present. You are in the moment, calm, cool, collected, no sweaty nose, no sweaty asshole. <laughs> it's like you've done this a billion times. This is absolutely incredible. Did you know that signing up for this show, you'd be a hit as long as you got pulled out of the bucket? Have you signed up before? I, I, this is like, I think, my 12th time of signing up. Wow. Um, I, I got here um, July. Yeah. I, I visited um, someone put me on the open mic for Mothership and I got a call back and instantly I knew that I have to move here. I right. have to do it. So Adam knows you. Yeah. You know Adam. Mm. Fucking great. Yeah, Holy I've done shit. seven crew shows so far. Amazing. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Absolutely wow. amazing. I can't believe we had no idea about you. Nobody ever tells us anything. <laughs> Hiding. When we find something, we're like, here you go yeah. on a silver platter. No one ever gives us a hot tip. Like, hey, there's a, the, the fucking freak of nature of comedies arrived. <laughs> Thanks. I guess hopefully one day we'll pull them out of a fucking bucket. All the fucking thousands of fucking stupid fucking normie bomb ass bombers. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Craig, can someone give us a hot tip once in a while? Yeah. We share everybody with the world. We had Dewey for 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. We have to use yeah, that. we had to deal with fucking Dewey. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I guess we finally found. 
what came out of the car carpet of Dewey's car. It's a Heath Fortis. <laughs> From a four Taurus. So I assume you eat you eat free at most restaurants and stuff? Uh, dude, Denny's I can eat for like three bucks. It's amazing. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. It's amazing. How, do you take the glasses off and just kind of Take talk? them off. Let's yeah. see what you look like with your glasses off. Oh, dream uh. weaver. You better get I home, believe we can tomorrow. make it through <laughs> the night. Get your ass home, dude. What? Out of here, this man. This guy's a fucking stud. There you go. Uh, okay, uh, question um, that I'm going to hustle into. Uh, what's it like? Have you? Do you drink? Have you had a drink yet? Have you yeah. been? I, uh, what, I, it, what is that process like with the bartender <laughs> losing yeah. his fucking mind? So I obviously I get ID'd anywhere I go. Um, Usually, though, once I give them my ID, they're cool about it. There was this one bar down 6th Street. I gave them my ID. They said, fuck it, and they just kicked me out immediately. Oh, right. Yeah. Did should... they try to take the ID? Because sometimes... I wish they did. I wish they did. I would have called the cops on those motherfuckers. I was ready. I was ready, man. Yeah. I was ready. Yeah. That's a no-brainer. That's a win-win lawsuit. Lawsuit mm -hmm. city. You're yeah, just ready. Man, was... What is, like, the official... What is like the official thing? What's the curse that's been placed on you? What is it called? The curse? I have no idea. Doctors can't You don't even know? Figure they don't out. know? No, I had shitty doctors, dude. I have no You've idea. You've never gone to another set of yeah, doctors? Yeah, you went to an nah, Alabama. He was going to Alabama that, doctors, <laughs> aka the dentist. Exactly. AKA they don't have dentists in Alabama. Exactly. It was the gym teacher. <laughs> I don't know, kid. You're Yeehaw. fucked up. <laughs> So you have no idea why this is happening. No, dude, he's Two normal looking stuff. in Alabama. That's all I know, really. <laughs> you know. That's wild. And you've never, like, tried to look into it. Yeah, not enough time, well, not enough money. You're just I mean, like, I got a baby face. That works for me. I'm all works. set. Let me tell I you found something. found an angle. Let's not... I found an angle. <laughs> yes, you certainly did. <laughs> You better stay like this, because if you build your whole hour around looking like this, and then you grow up I'm normal, fucked. you're fucked. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that he just would suck. Two in three months. Yeah, yeah he, he has the most <laughs> most painful <laughs> your whole act most <laughs> painful growth spurt of all time. He just spends three months oh, no. like oh, oh, bones just stretching. Fuck! <laughs> suck it! <laughs> wow. Do you have, do you have siblings? I do. Are you the only one with the pituitary issues? Yeah, they're all normal. They're normal. Yeah. Your parents don't have this? I mean, they're short, but not How like... How short? Not this short, you no. know? They're like normal short. Fuck normal. They're all boring is yeah, what you're dude. saying. Yeah, You're the this most interesting incredible. one. Yeah. Well, well my family. Awesome. Well, needless to say, without a doubt... Um, normally, this is the part of the show where it would end and we would move on and go to, uh, obviously, the guy that closes all the shows, but you are a freak of nature and I want to see more of you. And even though you've only been doing it two years, I do believe that without a doubt, even though we have a lot of them here and we have to rotate them in and fit them in when we can, there's no doubt about it. Keith Portis is and has to be the newest golden ticket winner on the show. Yeah. 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 Has to happen. Absolutely has to happen. And I'm calling it right now just so that there's no confusion and traffic doesn't get clunked up for the people that are and doing this and aren't doing that and are on this lineup or on that lineup. On December 30th at the HEB Center, you will be performing in your first arena. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I'd love to have you on the secret show Thursday. Ooh, the yeah. secret yeah. show. Boy, everybody. Yeah. Oh my God, can you believe that? Great work. Good for you. Oh my God. Oh my God. Red and Red. also the Red. secret show. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, the secret show? Yes. Oh this my God. Thursday. Oh, you're going to use him to sell tickets? <laughs> no. Love you, buddy. An arena and the that. secret show? <laughs> Oh Dude, my yeah, God. thank you guys so oh much. Oh my God. Heath, you're a fucking freak of wow. nature. 
Absolutely, whatever you want. Here's a big joke book. There you go, coming at you. Absolutely. The newest Golden Ticket winner. This is, it's crazy. We have too many of them. It's really becoming an issue. We might need to start taping two a week and putting out two a week we or write, something we like write that. We write note for Mrs. Yeah. Cool Unbelievable. <laughs> Welcome. Hang out. Let's hang out afterwards. I got to meet you. Dude, I'm going to fuck the shit was, out of him, everybody. Was, I mean, it's unbelievable. It is just unbelievable. Mom. I am going to throw that him around like the bodybuilder did to Camp Patterson. That was unbelievable. We're going to have double bottom gay sex. It's going to be incredible. Can you imagine him like on To Catch a Predator or something like that? He would be great. Perfect. He would be great. <laughs> we have many more questions and many more opportunities to ask them. Heath Cordes Dude. just making Kill Tony history yet again. How there he crazy is. is it? How crazy is it that he has no idea what is what happened to him or why that is? It's unbelievable. That's fucking, that would We're be gonna... my sole question in life. Yeah. What the fuck is going on 24/7 until a doctor was like, it's like reverse Jack or whatever it is. You know, yeah. like that would be unbelievable. He naturally built comedian he's owning Hilarious. it he's fully aware of it totally funny totally are calm are you crying about oh this? my goodness she is like are you overwhelmed or you just were <laughs> yeah, look at that she's, she's, she's weeping about this man yep boy man thing it whatever i don't know <laughs> you're proud do you know him no okay <laughs> All right, maybe a little less vodka sodas, but uh, yeah, that, that's amazing. How about you fuck him? Will you fuck him? Yeah. This yeah! woman. Yeah! Yeah! Fuck him, fuck, fuck him, him, fuck him, fuck him, fuck him, fuck him. The friend seems to think it's possible. Can we get a compliment? Will you at least go on a date with him? Yeah! She's yeah! going on a date with him. Oh my God, the lights are going crazy. <laughs> Kino on the lights. He knows when the party's going. <laughs> this kid's going to kill himself tonight. Is, it's never getting better than this. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think it just started for Heath Cordes. And that's what's amazing, you know? Here you go. You're built for it. You moved from Alabama. What did he say? 12 signups. Moved in July. Believe it or not, your next comedian, a fun fact about him, I don't know if I've even mentioned this on the show before, but he once signed up for every week for nine months in a row before getting pulled out of the bucket for his very first time. Since then, he is the only living member of the Kill Tony Hall of Fame, the regular with the most appearances, the most interviews. Nine months, he kept trying week after week after week after week, and now he's done it more than anybody. The Memphis Strangler, the Tijuana Tarantula, the Vanilla Gorilla, the Big Red Machine, William Montgomery, everybody. Shit, last night in the hotel room with him, I, I was with him, he told me he was 14. So that kind of, <laughs> I feel a little ripped off about that. Uh, Yeah, he said he was fucking 14. I believed it. He looks 14. Okay. <laughs> so I just finished another installment of Where's Waldo, and I'm starting to think he doesn't exist. <laughs> John Fetterman, the Pennsylvania senator who wears sweats and has trouble forming complete sentences, said America isn't sending its best and brightest to Washington. That's like Satan saying people should be nicer to one another. Holy shit. <laughs> What's the difference between John Fetterman and Red Band? John Fetterman actually has an excuse. <laughs> he had a stroke, Red Band. That's what that was. <laughs> I recently tried menthol condoms, and I've got to tell y'all, they don't taste like you'd expect, but the fiberglass does tickle my pussy. <laughs> When it comes to Israel and Hamas, I just hope both sides have fun. <laughs> okay, that's my time. Thank you. Wow. 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 Holy shit. What an episode. What a night. You coming in with another fucking absolute monstrosity of a minute, doing it more than anybody. <laughs> Not easy to do. 
William Montgomery. It's so nice to be here. I had my first headlining week in this past weekend in Vegas. It was wonderful. Did 50 fucking minutes. Which 50 I minutes. Think, I didn't think I could do that. And if y'all could tell my voice, I wish I could yell tonight, but I'm probably not because I didn't even have my voice at all yesterday. So I'm going to have to figure that one out, Tony. I think doing three hours worth of comedy is not going to work with my voice. So I might, I don't know what I'm even I'm going to fucking do. And then, It gets stronger. We'll see. And then, Tony, I swear to God, I want to read a text message. So on Saturday night, the second, the, the next two shows, literally at eight, when I'm walking into the club, I receive this text message from my father, Larry. It says, let's, let's tell William tomorrow so he won't worry about it during his shows. I swear to God. And then I immediately text him, what? And then he calls me, my grandfather died, Rusty Vance. So rest in peace, Rusty Vance. Rest in peace, Rusty. But it was a nightmare. <laughs> See, I want to yell so much right now, you fucking pussy. But I literally, it would hurt so bad. Why would you do that? It's Rusty did Vance. He, did he die from AIDS? Did he die from AIDS? <laughs> God, you sound crazier and crazier by the fucking week, dude. Did he die of AIDS? God, your voice. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, it was fun. And then I get up there and I have to have my notebook for these longer sets and I immediately spill a cup of water on my notebook. So it... <laughs> You've done that before. You actually did that at the world famous Chicago theater. You went up uh, before me and there was fucking water all over the floor. Yeah, spilled the water. Why did you just say, wow, and fucking clap, you fucking, you look like a slut, bitch. <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, 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 she's got a date with a 15 year old later, okay? With that 14. Teen year old. Yeah. We hope she's a slut. Yeah. Yeah. We hope. We're gonna get a follow up to that date, and you'll be a legend. If you if you fuck him, I will tell you this. If you fuck him, then I'm serious. If you fuck him, you have a ticket to kill Tony for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a she genius. Said, Let's go. <laughs> if and you if, don't, no she will. So if, yeah. you know. <laughs> And I want to be there. I want to be allowed to watch. I yeah. have that has to be a part of the contract. I have to watch him fuck yo fucking nasty looking ass bitch. Oh my Jesus. goodness, William, you're Jesus. being very I'm sorry. Red fair. band pissed me off earlier. It's my fucking dead grandfather. And let me try out some of the crowd work I did with using that information. Uh, yeah, Rusty Vance, my grandfather died. Can anybody guess how old he was when? Can anybody guess how old Rusty was? If somebody... When somebody guesses that we could say when I hear the right... Shit, I don't know how old his old ass was. <laughs> so that's that guy. That was about 10 minutes worth of crowd work yeah. doing that. <laughs> That's how you did 50 did minutes. Dinner, yes, yes, I did 15 to 20 of that, just standing, staring forward, hearing all these numbers. That is so funny. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, a little fun fact about William is that, um, you know, a little behind the scenes, which I think is good for the people that have been following you for half a decade on this show. A very interesting thing is while he writes so many unbelievable minutes on the show, he has a slight problem interjecting those minutes into his longer, normal, standalone stand-up set. He gets his balls busted a lot about doing, you know, the same 15, the same 20, whatever, um, even though he has this plethora. More than anyone publicly in the world has blatantly jokes that work. He puts them out all the time on the show. But can you explain to the people why you have a little bit of trouble? I know it's a serious subject. I don't know. I mean, I get so... When I'm opening up for you, Tony, I get so in my head. You put so much pressure on me. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to fucking explode most of the time. So I'm like, okay, I have to keep on doing <laughs> these what? jokes. Tony, I did say one joke that you told me not to say before, but I had to in Vegas. What was what? the one? Uh, Chris Angel's greatest trick is how he made himself disappear. <laughs> yeah, it's... So stupid. And I That's did a couple stupid. Rick Moranis jokes, but no, I was interjecting a lot more. Tony hates the Rick Moranis jokes. Yeah. I think they're wonderful. Yeah. Oh, you mean that? You mean the guy that's been a recluse for twenty-five years? You think that? <laughs> <laughs> 
Dude, I don't know what it is. There's like, and I've, I've seen you for years now, man. There's just like a darkness that around you that like, it makes me truly uncomfortable. Like, I feel like you have... Well, at least there's something around my fucking ass. I don't you even have... know what to think when I look at Dude, your fucking ass. You have... Don't come at me. <laughs> you have... I've been doing I this shit this. for five fucking years, dumbass. I, I said I wasn't going to fucking stream. Don't come at me like that. You got yeah, nothing I want around you to scream. your stupid fucking ass. I want you to say, you have, like, look at me energy. You have a screaming look Ooh, at thanks. me. thanks. Yeah, it's a terrifying... Cool, I take that as a compliment, dumbass. Dude. What the fuck? When it eventually Don't comes come at out... me like that, you fucking idiot. When it eventually comes out that this guy has murdered a lot of people, a lot of we people. are all We're culpable. all not going to be surprised. <laughs> not surprised. Dude, shut culpable. the fuck up, dumbass. <laughs> I promised I wouldn't fucking yell tonight, but I can't help it when I look in your stupid fucking eyes, dude. My eyes? I have a dark energy on my fucking ass. You got nothing. This is dark, dumb ass. This is very dark. This and is I very swear dark. I'm, oh, what? This is dark. <laughs> this is dark. <laughs> this is dark. <laughs> Don't come at me, motherfucker. What do you mean I got a dark energy? My fucking grandfather died a couple days ago, dumbass. Uh, and I've been playing with the Ouija board, so maybe that's why my energy's dark. There you go. I've like four spirits in my apartment, so sorry for yeah. you, coming you, after your ass. I get nervous. I haven't slept in three fucking days. You hugged me before this. Huh? You hugged me before this. Yeah, I put a curse on your dumbass. <laughs> You can't hug somebody who's you performing me. in the dark arts. You hugged me. Yeah, well, good luck trying to pee later. <laughs> I don't understand you, man. <laughs> well, I don't understand you either, so we're in the same boat, then. <laughs> Should we hug? Yeah, do you want to hug? Wow, this is a very special moment, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness. Now, if Israel and Palestine could just do that. Yeah. <laughs> Paraglide. No. That's the reason his grandfather died. Wait, what? Jesus Red Christ. Christ. Did you hear that, William? What did he say? He, he said, said, you're going to be on the secret show. <laughs> <laughs> you win the big prize. Right down the street. The ceiling's too high. Everyone doesn't do well there. It's not built for comedy. <laughs> Lucky you and White Webster. Oh. Wait, so what did you say, Red Man? <laughs> I said you want a spot on the secret show. <laughs> Congratulations. No, he said that, the hug thing, and then he goes, uh, for no reason, he goes, uh, that's the reason your grandfather died. What's the reason, Red Bean? I don't know. AIDS! <laughs> See, it doesn't work out how you think it's going to work out sometimes, doesn't it? You were thinking people are going to laugh at AIDS. Nobody fucking laughed, dumbass. <laughs> My fucking grandfather died. Why do you fucking... <laughs> I'm sorry about your grandfather, honestly. Thank you. Like with like the medicine recently in the AIDS community that would help have helped him, and he. Uh... So doubling down on the AIDS shit, you <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> you know what? Secret Show Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> I think Red Band was doing those jokes so that he could have a moment of silence for your grandfather. <laughs> William, you know, I mean, it, it's fucking crazy, but uh, but I'll say it. Uh, a lot of these times, and I mentioned this to Red Band after uh, Heath Cordes' performance, I go, it's so weird how so often, I mean, statistically, because I remember specifically, um, oh, God, who the fuck was it? It was, um, oh, Aaron Belial. We kept pulling out of the bucket all night long, and then the final bucket pull, I go, the final bucket pull of the night, we have enough time for one more. It was him. 
And all these times, you have to go up after fucking. Yeah, I'm chaos. horrified. It's I was so, horrified back there. So <laughs> interesting. And meanwhile, you blast through. You make it look easy, and you've done it more than anybody. And you fucking did it again tonight, fresh off of well, the death you, of your Dave. grandfather. Let's see how loud this place can get for literally the goat of the show, William Montgomery. Everybody. And we did it again. Did you guys have fucking fun tonight, huh? How about one more time for the great Giannis Papas, everybody? Portland, January 11th. Vancouver, January 12th. Toronto, March 23rd. The Giannis Papas Hour, available everywhere. One more time for the great Mike Feeney. His huge special is out right now. YouTube.com slash Mike Feeney. That's F-E-E-N-E-Y. And uh, it is called A Night at the Comedy Cellar. He performs in all four rooms. And that is amazing. One more time for the great Ryan Sickler, everybody, of the Honeydew Podcast. YouTube slash Ryan Sickler. His special lefty son is right there. Shout out to Gel Blaster, Red Rose, Yellow Rose, Hall Law Firm, Connect Mobile Health, Austin Security Guard Service, Austin Pool, CM Smokehouse, Zipix, Bones Eye, and NinjaBuses.com. How about one more time for the best damn band in the land? Michael Gonzalez on the drums. Terrell Shahid on the horns, Paul Deemer on the horns, the great D Madness on the bass guitar, John Bees on the keys, and Matt Muling on the electric guitar. The drawing from Ryan J. E. Belt is in, and it is unbelievably awesome. Some exclusive Kill Tony merch available on your way out. SunsetStripATX.com. Love you. Yes, indeed. And we love you guys. So good to be back. So good to be home. We love you. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Rock and roll. Good night.